Welcome to year two of old school. We start out by buying a new truck. Boy, oh boy, did Buck do good on this mod. I did spend about, I don't know, 14,000 on this truck. Boy, is it pretty and it matches my clothes. We're gonna head home though. I think we have a plan to make a good amount of the money back though, because I've been a doofus. We do have the rye to harvest today, but I need to get these fields turned over. We need to get more crops in the ground and I completely forgot I could use this. Completely forgot. So we're gonna get this straw picked up and see how much money we can make. And uh, I'm hoping it's not a ton of trips. We got two fields to do this on and we'll get that going. And then I'm potentially going to look for somebody in town to help me. We got enough tractors so that I could assign a worker to replant this field and well, we'll have to treat it. We'll have to cultivate it first. And then, well, we have the direct drill. We don't need to cultivate it. We can do lime first and then plants. Yeah, let's go. So somewhat promising. Let's find out where the best place to sell this is. I don't think the difference is enough for me to justify driving all the way into town. We are gonna go to our new sales location nearby. How much 11.11 .11 yards of straw gives us? All right, good moment of truth here. And away it goes. Can we get 2,500? No, no, not even 2,000. Okay, so it's gonna be some busy work, but we'll get that, keep going. We'll keep pressing on. Second load incoming. So I would say probably maybe almost 25% done with this field and it's given us about $3,000 or close to it. So hopefully we'll get about, I'm hoping we're sitting at about $50,000 when we're done picking up straw. So we're at that $50,000 mark and I don't feel like this is the most efficient way to do it. I know we have the equipment in hand, but the amount of trips this is gonna take to do that other field, I forgot the size of it, just doesn't seem efficient. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna do some research on types of balers we can look into and also some trailers for balers, though we might be able to just use the truck we have with the flatbed. Yeah, I'm gonna go home, do some research, and we will regroup. So I think I did find something that will work for us. I'm just wondering if we're gonna regret the bale size. Let's go pick it up. All right, let's go talk to them about what they have in stock here. So we are gonna go with one that is on Mod Hub here. This uh, fair, far, far, this old school one here. We're gonna go ahead and buy it. We have the money. Then if we go to combinations, it comes with a configurable color-wise. Does it have that same color? Doesn't look like it. We'll go with that. And apparently this is uh, going to make the job real easy. So let's go ahead, get this going, hook both of these up and take them home. $14,000. We won't make that money back today, I don't think. But it won't take very many times using this to make the money back. Just going to sneak up here, try to get it straight and back her up. A little bit at a time and we're attached. Oh, let's drive this new setup home and give it a shot. Well, I got close with the colors matching. I think it's a cool little setup. It feels old school. Uh, let's get this turned on now and see how well it works. So apparently it shot out to the side when we unfolded it. So we should be able to just keep driving next to our piles. Try to find the right spot to be able to pick it all up here on one pass. Not, not doing too hot. 
Not doing too hot. I'm kind of remembering why I didn't like this setup in the past when I've used it. But we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a good go. I think it'll be the best option for us. There we go. They're stacking nice back there. Driver's a little squirrely, though. We're going to feel real silly if we don't get more than 11 yards on this thing. Oh, it only tells us bales. So it doesn't tell us yards. So each one's about half a yard, it looks like. So we would need around 22 on here to feel like we were good. And we'll see how much this tractor can pull, because that's really going to be the problem here when it gets up to weight. So we're full and <clears throat> doesn't seem to be struggling at all. So that's positive. And it's probably gonna take these off the baler right away, I would assume, without us doing anything. No. Okay, we'll see what we need to do here. Switch to the back. Um, go to that and we move it. Do we, how do we, how do we unload this one? Unload bales. Can't raise it or lower it though, huh? Guess we just do it like that. Oh, sweet. Now we'll switch back. What was the dollar amount? What was the dollar amount? Ooh, 8,000. And unload that. Another eh, couple hundred bucks. Let's go get another load going. So we got a total of 201 bales. Going to go sell the rest. Another 93. And I guess we are somewhat close to breaking even. Who would have thought? Counting the straw we sold prior to buying this setup. We've made money today still. All right, let's go ahead and get these sold. 6,000, yeah, so we're at 52,000. Definitely a successful day. You know, I think we might be safe waiting another month to do the rye harvest. I was talking to another farmer in town and they definitely feel like we could get away with one more month. So let's go here, we'll do two, one headland should be good here. I wanna do sharp turns. And whoops, I want to generate it. And it should be real quick for a friend of ours to go ahead and do that. Get that going. I'm going to go ahead and where did you start? The pH is bad. Doesn't seem like we need to adjust it much. Uh, we got to figure out what we want to plant here. It's got to be. Let's look at our fields. So down here, we do have one that is planted that is wheat so we could do did we do oats yet we're gonna do oats today are we gonna do, no chickens don't eat oats we're gonna do sorghum let's double check i'm i'm questioning myself now uh chickens yeah sorghum we're gonna do sorghum today so i'm gonna go ahead and get the planner all prepped here and it should be ready hi puppy got to do something with this. It should be ready for when they get around and done with the lime. And we're going to get the Comfort King all set up on that. Gotten a bag of fertilizer and seed delivered so we can fill these up. Sorghum. Let's go ahead and head on over. And yeah, that's going to be a quick job over there. So we should be able to jump on this field already and get started. And this should put this field in a pretty good state as far as precision farming is concerned. Let's go ahead and get get rolling here. Put nitrogen down, and it looks like it's going to turn into a light green color for this crop type, which should serve us well. And I was going to expand the field, but I don't know if we're ready for that equipment-wise. It still took a long time to pick up the straw. It took a good amount of time to harvest. And so we can afford a bigger harvester with a bigger header and just more capacity. I think we're going to keep the fields the size they are. We got other things to work on. We're making money. We're still a profitable farm. Heading towards our goals of getting that much larger chicken coop. So I think we're set. We got a small area we never plowed right here. I don't remember that from last time we planted, but it does not want to plant over those, even though it's a direct drill. But we got this done. We got sorghum in the ground, and apparently I scooped up a little bit of straw. And we didn't use an, a worker for the other field because, well, 
it's too close to the grass field and course play was getting a little confused. So I could make a custom course, but I figured we might as well do it ourselves. And I'm wanting to get a lot of this field work done, even though I'm not gonna plant another field today, because I want to start focusing on cleaning up this yard and the surrounding area of it so that we can establish our own footprint here and really turn it into our own property. And I'm really done with the barns and I have some ideas of what I want and we're gonna get there. We are gonna get there. We did talk about not doing a sawmill production, but there is a few things, whoops, I didn't mean to get that in the grass, but we'll live with that. There are a few things that I want wood for and specifically it's the sheds we wanna build and the fence line. I need to build a fence line of the property as well. So I think what we're gonna do with that is I'm gonna get a production going, potentially a tiny, you know, sawmill that is for the size we need. We're not gonna sell any of the goods. We're just going to role play, creating our own storage and our own buildings out of wood. So after we do this lime here, we're gonna cut down some trees and get prepped to do a little bit of that work in February, but we will have the rye field to harvest and we're gonna wait for both the grass fields to be ready at the same time before we harvest that. I think that's the best approach there. And weird smoke behind us, but we're done with this field. We'll be able to plant that in February if time is in our favor. And I believe, let's check on these grass fields. I think one of them is gonna be ready next month, but we're gonna, like I said, wait till they're both ready and we'll go to an area where we can look at them both real quick. All right, let's hop out right here. We see this one, yeah, the growth length's looking pretty good. It's gonna be ready in February, but we'll be holding off till March because this one won't quite be ready yet. Boy, these are some big fields though. Okay, let's start looking at our land here. And I did wanna keep a lot of trees, but some of these just don't make sense. Like this one right here, we'll go ahead and get that chopped down. Yeah, and some of these ones surrounding here, and we're gonna leave them just on the ground as is right now. Until we figure out exactly, we're going to buy maybe a table saw, some type of lathe, planer, so we can get some planks going and turn it into fencing and rebuild some sheds that we're looking at, you know, for our storage. want to go too crazy, though, so I want to keep an eye on what I'm cutting down. Let's take a step back here. Yeah, that opens it up a little bit better, and those two just, they just feel out of place at this point. And probably same with this one back here. It's just starting to feel a little out of place. Now I've hopped on top of our bale trailer here to get a good look visually. I think that's pretty good. It's hard to see with all these shrubs in the way. We're gonna get some equipment out here to clear that as well next. And probably a couple more gardens I'm thinking as well. This garden's doing good for us, but it would be nice to get even more money from that. And how are the chickens doing? Doing good over here, huh ladies? Getting close to that age that the uh, business complex we're looking into it wouldn't mind you for processing. I don't think they understood me. I think it's okay. 
We got about 88 pieces or 89 pieces there. Plenty of food here. There he is. Look at that stud. Do your thing, buddy. And food's looking good out here. Starting to get a little more full. So I think in long term, this will be like a staging area for younger younger chickens. I don't know what we're going to do yet. This is probably going to get removed when we get out there. I just like the look of these buildings. It's pretty much why I use these ones. Uh, the capacity of them isn't great, and the profit uh, profitability is pretty much next to nothing on this. It's it's going to take a while to make a 20 grand back on selling just eggs, but once we're able to cycle through some chickens, uh, that's a different story. So yeah, we'll start getting this cleaned up, and next time you see me, I don't know, it might be all cleaned up by the time you see me next time. We'll find out. With this new building here, we're gonna be able to take our natural resources of trees and turn them into goods to help us make some fences and some sheds. And oh yeah, we got a harvest to do. All right, we're over here on the rye field, time to get harvesting, but as I start, I'm already remembering that the truck is not configured to pick up the grain from the harvester. So I think what we'll do is we'll do the headland and then we're gonna jump in the Comfort King, load up all the strawberries and get those sold so we can reconfigure our truck to be a grain truck. And well, we were able to do the headland without running out of capacity here. And this is a dark crop. Wow, wow. All right, let's shut this off. We're gonna head on over. We're gonna head on over to the truck and actually the Comfort King first and we need to get the forks put on it. Oh man, I can't wait to clear all this out. And we're gonna, you're gonna be resolved today. And we're gonna finish loading up the strawberries. So after we get these strawberries sold, we'll reconfigure the truck so that we can get back to the harvest. So let's get these picked up one at a time. We'll have to sneak over to the truck. Yeah, I could have moved that to make it a, our lives a little easier. Let's see, I kinda, yeah, let's do that. I'm struggling today, oh man. And why is this in the road? I don't I don't even know. If, is this my save file? All right, so we should be able to just push these on here, line them up with the rest of them, and uh, we'll have to do a second row, it looks like. That lowered. Oh, oh, it's sticking. Ooh, another one just spawned. And the last one to put on here. Should be able to just uh, tilt a little bit and drop it and slide on out. And it stayed perfect. All right, let's shut this tractor off. Get this all strapped in. Could have done a little better with that. All right, let's head into town. We're gonna let the eggs pile up for a little bit before we start selling those, cause it just seems like it'd be a lot easier to do that. And let's check the best selling location while he's getting ahead of myself. We have strawberries. Wow, lots of locations here. Looks like the supermarket is the best price. So we'll head over there and then we'll head to the shop. All right, little turn here. And there they go. They're being sold. Are they all being, yes, okay. And another five grand to our name. Can't complain about that for a couple months worth of strawberries. And yeah, head to the store now. We almost forgot, or the shop. I need to get to the shop, get this adjusted, and get back to harvesting. And do that, all we need to do. One of these days, we'll get our own shop so we can reconfigure our own equipment ourselves. Let's get in the harvester, open it on up. And I guess we'll get a little closer. I thought we were close enough there. Start unloading this. We're getting 186 bushels an acre. Look at that magically just, just, okay. Is this even a texture? It's not, a, it's, it kind of interesting. Yeah, the last time we do that. Looks like an unfinished product in my opinion. So the growth stage looked rough, but this stage looks pretty good of this crop actually. But yeah, that seems, that seems a little, yeah, magical. Let's take a look at the prices too while we're waiting for that to unload. So per bushel, it looks like we're gonna get about $37 at the sell anything location. And yeah, not even close to being emptied here. Lovely. Oh, we're in the wrong vehicle. We are emptied. So that did fill up about half of, that's, uh, that's interesting. That filled up about half of the cart. So this is looking like it's gonna give us a good amount of rye. Just gotta get it all harvested, and then we can pick up the straw and sell it today as well, and try to flip this field is my plan. But we also have some other fields we need to check on and see if they need anything done to them. I think we might have some weeds to spray today. That field looks good. And 
and we're gonna give Selenry a try. It magically disappears. And that's, you know, not bad. About eight grand right there. We're looking good. And the magical drop of the rye is happening. Unfortunate that that crop isn't completely finished on this map. I'm not really sure where the map creator got that from. Happy or Brendan or Brody, he uh, used the already created like base map to make this custom area for us. Uh, but we are in the process of making some real custom maps too. Yeah, $59,000, we're sitting pretty good. We, you know, we're trying to get to where we have enough money to Oh, that has lime on it. Okay, brain needs to catch up. We're getting to the point where we're gonna be real close to being able to buy that big, big chicken coop and really start this process of becoming a chicken king. And I think we're gonna have to finish this harvest. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll park here and we'll get in the harvester. The worker did as much as they can, but we'll get the rest done, get all this straw picked up, and then we'll move on to the next task of the day. But it's only 11 o'clock. We're doing pretty awesome, I think. Oh, this thing's almost full. All the rye has been harvested and this should all fit. Let's go ahead and get that unloaded. There it goes. And while that's unloading, we'll hop back over and collect a little more straw. Just kind of utilizing our time pretty well, but we'll get this picked up a little bit and then we'll go see what the rest of the rye gives us financially. All right, it's a good spot. We'll hop out of this uh, tractor, jump into the truck. And yeah, I think we're good. So 150 more bushels to sell. Let's go ahead and get our total, you know, total balance after the harvest here. We're gonna have some more things to sell from that harvest, but making some good progress. 65,000 to our name now. Was hoping we'd get enough to get the big coop today, but I think that's gonna be probably after the next silage sale. All right, this is done. We'll go ahead and park it here for now. I'm not sure if we're gonna need it for Strawberries next or another harvest? I have to take some inventory of the fields. I've lost track, but let's go ahead and get this uh, harvester moved and we'll get the rest of the straw picked up and sold. And then finally we'll move on. I thought we were gonna get done way faster. I forgot about the straw. So we got a lot to do today, or at least I'm hoping to get a lot done in February, but time's a ticking. So we got to keep moving. Well, the first 105 straw bales are all on the wagon so wagon the trailer i'm struggling with words today we're gonna go get those sold and then we're gonna finish picking up the straw and then you know we'll keep going we're gonna keep going another eight grand you know we're doing pretty good we're doing pretty good here let's go ahead and switch to the baler and we'll try to get these unloaded here as well and sold yep all right let's uh head on back keep on going we probably could have got a couple more bales but i think this will do for now and we're going to go ahead and, yeah, all our equipment is is just everywhere. Let's go ahead and switch here. We're going to detach that, pull forward, and we'll go ahead and detach that right here for now and just pull the trailer. It doesn't make sense to pull the baler with us. And I got that all hooked up. Let's head on in, get rid of this straw. We don't need it for anything. And then we're going to take a look at our fields and figure out what's next. So do we think we need a plants over there? We'll get the, yeah, we'll start prepping the rye field for next. I forgot we had a field to plant. So we got one that we need to plant, another one we need to prep, and then we'll take a look at our wood production. All right, we've arrived. It should be you know, another 5,000 or so. Yeah, $6,000. So we're at 80. We could buy that uh, production now, but I don't think we're going to do that. Or barn. Coop. Large coop. So I went ahead and did inventory on the fields to make sure we knew what was going on. We got a wheat field, a sorghum field, and now we're going to have a barley field. But, you know, well, these are going to have to get harvested, and I don't think our coops are going to actually be able to hold all of the grain when we harvest them. So we're gonna have to look to see if we can find some blueprint or something out there to make a silo out of our wood, or just see if we can find a cheap one that can be installed. Those are the things that are on the list to do. There's no field to spray, so we'll get this one done and we'll do the fertilizer at the same time since we have that in this implement. 
And we're saving a lot of time by having this direct drill and not having to cultivate. That sure is helpful. And after we get this field planted, we can put lime on the field we just harvested and put us in a good position to get a crop in the ground in that field next month. We're just getting the last row here, the last pass. Looking good in a brand new barley field. We'll have to spray it for weeds next month, but I think we're getting pretty close to having a good cadence of fields that are prepped now. So let's get this put away. I'm hoping, yeah, we'll do the lime. You like how I have a half thought and then interrupt myself? Yeah. So we're gonna do the lime on the field, the rye field, and then we are going to check on the wood production. I think we're gonna sell some of our complexes here that we know we don't want long-term. And that's kind of why I've been spreading out the equipment. That barn's gonna get demolished and we're gonna repurpose some of the wood from that to make some new sheds. And then we're going to also use what we've produced in our sawmill to help us with making some fences. So we'll go ahead and park right here. I wanna find the John Deere that detached. We're gonna go get the spreader and get some lime in the ground. See how far 18, yeah, we need to get some more. We're gonna get a couple more bags here. Call up the dealership and have them delivered. Well, that's a interesting way to do it. I was trying to do it by hand and just fill it up and see if I could just place it on there. It didn't work, but that should, that should just keep filling. And then I guess we could put bags in there and kind of cheat the system. That's hilarious. All right, let's get some lime laid down here. Got us about 85%. That's gonna probably be more than enough for this field. And it looks like it is, uh, it was in pretty decent shape. It was still green pH wise. So we're just making it that nice dark green that gets us to 6.5 pH. That is the ideal for the sandy loam. And then I think we have a different soil type in a few spots here where it'll just adjust a little bit what it's putting down. Yeah, just a hair back there that needed a little bit more lime to bring the pH in balance. And same with this spot where it needs 0.37 instead of the 0.25 that we've been putting most places. But yeah, looking good. A little extra overspray on the grass. Doesn't hurt anything. Oh, lime's complete. All right, let's go put this away on the you know, in the temporary storage location that we've created. And then we'll empty the rest of the barn out and we're gonna call some friends over to knock it down strategically. Well, after spending $25,000 on miscellaneous parts and as well as just using what we produce from the sawmill, it's looking a little different. So this little area here is gonna be our workshop. Yep, it does open. We can put some vehicles in there. And yeah, we'll be able to work on all of our equipment right here. This will be our wash bay. Where we'll be able to come over here, grab this and just spray down our implements and tractors and, and such. Yeah, you're doing great. Fences are next from you. Let's go over here. So we got two of these enclosed. The back's 
closed in sheds that we'll be able to put some implements in as well as this one. And then this pull through one, we're going to try to do our best to keep one side open so we have access to the back of the farm from here because we did kind of block ourselves in. But I think it was a cool design. We also, we did find some silos, but we need to get a few more cycles of the sawmill going and probably cut down some more trees. I need to organize all this. It's going to take a little bit. We're going to do that in between the episodes. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Let's hop in the air. Even though the equipment's everywhere, we're starting to see a change in what it's looking like here embracing the red barn look but you know not necessarily barns we got sheds and we got some garages and then these buildings they don't seem to match anymore wonder what's going to happen to those long term and we, we're going to try to find a location to have a house and i'm thinking it might be closer to the entrance of the property over there we'll see we, we got to Get all the fences built out and actually get a good view of our property that line that way and then we'll make some more changes well this beautiful march morning things are looking nice and organized around the farm for once i think we've done well so the first thing on the agenda today is to start cleaning up the yard around here i don't want all of these bushes so we're going to get those taken care of and then we're going to work on cutting the fields that are ready to be harvested. So it's gonna be a big silage day or prepping for silage. Start coming over here. Why is that not working? Real mower is on. Interesting. Can we even chop these down? Okay. Something with this mo mower, I guess, because the other one was working. Let's see if we can get something that works. We can use this for the big, the big mowing session. And look what's back. Never should have sold it, I guess. So we can use it for cleaning up the yard, hopefully. We'll see what happens. And maybe it's the bush type that's the problem and we have to do something else to get rid of it. But let's go ahead and use our pull through that we created. And we can go back to the other side and try it. But we're gonna turn real mower on. Real mower on, right? Or maybe I'm doing that wrong. Maybe I'm a doofus. All right, let's turn the mower on. And as we drive up to this, will it go away? Yes. Okay, so there's something with that mower that it's just not working. So we'll take care of all of these bushes. Ah, this is the best way I know how to do it with the current old school mods that we have. So we'll give it a shot and then we will switch implements and work on the big field. But let's get this one done first. Boys, this is a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. So we're going to call up a friend of ours and get them rolling on cutting the fields because I do want to get that progressing. We're going to go check and make sure everything's good before we hand it over to our special guest of the episode. Get in the Comfort King here and we'll get connected. And I think we've done this before, so we should be okay with this tractor on this mower. Yep, looking good. Go through our opening here, the little drive through. We're going to keep that clear and we'll start. Let's start farther away. We want to double check this large field here. Yeah, it's very much ready. We're going to go ahead and set up a course here. And I don't know if we'll be able to do a course on the other one, so it will be interesting because how close it is to that field. So we'll probably have to do it ourselves. But special guest of the day, his name is Brandon. So we're riding along with Brandon right now, and he's a special guest. He is the son of one of our subscribers, Andrew. This is a special request from Andrew that we're, you know, we're going to we're going to we're going to do it. Brandon, enjoy cutting our grass thanks for hanging out thanks for thanks for being a loyal watcher of the channel i appreciate you all right so back to the job at hand we're gonna keep on cutting these bushes down while brandon takes care of the grass and you see there's a whole lot uh brody uh we kind of talked about this and uh, he kind of joked about going overboard a little bit with the bushes and it, it worked for what we started with it was a wilderness it was an abandoned farm that we've taken over and uh, it, it, it's done its purpose, right? It's served its purpose. It's time to clean it up. We're a little more uh, civilized or established at this point. And we'll replant some bushes and, and make some good landscaping decisions for this area once we've established all of the complexes and buildings that we want to establish here. But for the time being, I want it to be a little bit cleaner around here. Just uh, that's, the, that's the purpose of doing this, making it look nice. It's old school. Doesn't mean it has to be messy, right? Oh, what's up with course play on this? We're missing all kinds of stuff. Brandon, you're doing a great job. 
Don't worry about those spots. We'll get them. All right, we're going to keep going here. We got, I just, you know, I was almost done with uh, what I wanted to do here. And then I noticed, I noticed it looked like Brandon was stuck out there, but we got, we got it situated. And it looks like uh, the course is just a little bit off for that implement. So I'll have to look into that and figure out what kind of offset I need to adjust on that for doing that in the future. Because that's a lot of yield that we would lose. And I guess I can just go back and cut it myself. We probably will rake it up. I am looking into some old school options to improve the time to pick up the grass. Because, you know, to be honest with you, after doing a lot of silage in this series and silage pits are, are honestly one of my least favorite things to do, especially solo. Um, I find them fun in groups because you can multitask, not multitask, but kind of divide and conquer and it just goes faster. And it's just a lot of stuff's more fun when you have other people helping. But looking into some options to see if we can get some bigger trailers, maybe a bigger forage wagon or something, just a better capacity would help the situation. You know, 11 yards a trip is just a lot. Um, it was like 25 trips last time we sold and it's just, uh, those are the most time consuming episodes, just being completely honest and looking for a better solution for that. I want to kind of take a look back now and see how we're feeling about all this area that we've trimmed back at this point. Is it good enough for now? And the yard kind of looks like uh, the Grinch's face on the Jim Carrey version of the Grinch when he was a kid and he tries to shave. But uh, yeah, let's jump up here, maybe get a little view. We need to push all those back. We'll do that in a different session. This side's looking great. Now we have a nice open view of the field and it gives us an idea of what to do for somewhat of a road network is what I'm thinking next. The beehive might need to get moved. We might just redirect that path. So I do want to get a road going that way as well as one coming right off the farm and sneaking over to these fields as well as probably something just directly behind this barn that goes straight back behind that as well. Just another little road here. And that's why I'm cleaning this up and oh, miss these. Yeah, we'll get some of these later. Let's uh, let's see. We probably want to start raking this area up to make it easier to pick up. Let's do that next. I don't know if you'll live there long term, but we'll put you there for now. And yeah, we can sneak in and get the rake here next. Ooh, we're going to have to move the planter or the cedar. That all hooked up. We're just going to pull straight through and hit the post. You can fight through it. You can fight through it. We're going to go right here for now. That should give us plenty of clearance. Back on up. Hook up to the rake. Let's see how well this wants to back up today. I think... Might want to sneak that into that corner, but this should be good. Let's uh, zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Turn the wheel a little bit more, straighten it out. A little overcorrect there. And yeah, I guess that'll do for now. Let's get back to work. And you know, to be honest, I'm not completely sure this is even going to be helpful, but we're going to rake it. Might be able to pull some rows closer to make it quicker to, to pick up. And that's another thing. We haven't really been utilizing this to push multiple rows together. It's not going to eliminate the trips, though. It's just going to fill up the, the auger wagon quicker. And that's that's been the big problem is just the capacity on that thing. Just it's, it's nice for a beginner, but we've grown a little bit past that. And if we want to be as efficient as possible, we're going to need something more efficient. Can we fit here? No, we can't fit there. So we're jumping forward in time a little bit here, but uh, I forgot to hit the record button. We're testing out this new setup. You can see we've spent a good amount of our money, but I think this might be the good approach here. Uh, we're going to have to get a different head on this mowing setup, this forage harvester, to allow us to pick up the grass that Brandon cut for us. But we're going to try our truck here. It's on follow me been learning some modding today. I had to add some uh, features to this forage harvester to allow it to do the follow me functionality or to be followed, I should say. So it's been kind of interesting. 10 miles an hour. This seems a little too fast for the truck to keep up on follow me, but there's some issues with the collision. So that's why it's not getting super close and backing up. I've been messing around with it a lot. That's the risk you take with uh, downloading mods that haven't been approved by Giants and haven't been fully tested by that community. So, you know, making some adjustments ourselves to try to make it work. And it's uh, somewhat there. The other thing I could do is 
run the forage harvester as a worker and drive the truck behind it. But with the way the truck fills up, I'd have to switch back and forth to the harvester, stop it when the truck fills up and all of that. But overall, this is definitely gonna be a better setup. I'm still gonna tweak these settings and try to learn a little bit more about the collision points and why the truck can't get any closer than that and why it keeps stopping and going. And it might be the acceleration of the truck as well. As you can see, it is a little confused there, but it looks like it might be full. Let's give it a check here. Yeah, we are full, so we'll cancel the worker. And I'll show you how we've been dropping this off in the silo pit. Now getting the silage out of here is something we'll have to figure out later. So we'll just back in here and you know, we can we can go ahead and, and use our tricks here to you know lift the, lift the truck bed back like that and then start unloading it. And there it goes. And we can get a nice even uh, layout here. The one thing, oh, was this even more capacity? Is this even worth it? But we could also try and see just in case this works. Let's try this. Oh, uh, that's not going to work. I'm being silly. All right, let's get back out there. I, what was the capacity there? We'll, we'll have to... I'm curious. 7,000 liters is... Oh, that's bushels. That's not going to help us. It's less yards. It's less. Go ahead and empty that. What What are we going to do here? We got to figure something out. Oh, man. We got to figure something out. I'm banging my head against these ideas all day and not recording because of it. Old school limitations. So we could... Let's look in the store. Do we have enough money? Would probably make us pretty much broke here, but we can get 20 yards. We're going to lease this and go pick it up. And we're going to see about filling up the truck and the gravity wagon at the same time. Oh, we have our store location here. That's nice. And so we're back in debt, but next, uh, next episode when we sell all this silage, we'll be fine. Now, the question I have is, will the forage harvester be able to reach both? And this gives us close, I think it's going to be close to 30. Oh, I didn't see how many liters I just saw. Anyways, you can hear my voice. Got a little flustered today. Brandon did a great job. Great job cutting the lawn. Let's go ahead and re-enable follow me here. Let that tick in and switch on over. And we'll continue. And we'll see if it does shoot it to the back. If not, uh, we're gonna we're gonna live with it because I kind of wanted <laughs> I kind of wanted the uh, the gravity wagon anyways. Let's go. We'll fill up the truck and see if this will work. If not, we're gonna have to try. I think I know what I want to do. Let's try this way. Open up the menu. I want to offset. I want to go about five, and then I want this to be zero. And once we get out of the way, they should be able to do that if we did the offset far enough over. Let me catch up now. All right. So that's where they want to stay. I think we want to make them go a little farther forward. Yeah, that's where I want you, buddy. Why aren't you going there? Okay. Let's give it a shot. Still shooting towards that one. And switched. Nice. Okay, so let's just cruise a little slower. And then the question will be, how good are we at backing Gravity Wagon up into the silage pit? Okay. Let's get this full. So yeah, the big problem is knowing when it's full. That's uh, the, the biggest issue running into. So that is slowing us down a little bit, but I might try the worker approach here in a second and hand the harvester, forage harvester over to a worker, and then I'll just hop in and and shut it off when need be. But let's see if this gravity wagon's gonna play nice. I'm giving myself a nice long runway here to try to get it straight so that we can back it up good. It's already seeing it's sensitive. Yep, so we're starting to lose it there. So I'm thinking we need to come in tighter so that we can back it up a little bit better. So if we come in tight like this, and then we don't have to worry about going as far, straighten it out as much as we can, try to keep it straight and it just turned on its own. I didn't even turn the wheels. I didn't even turn the wheels and it did that. It's just the way these trailers work in this game. They just have a mind of their own. So the key is gonna be just getting it in here, squashing it down, and then later, not a today problem. We'll figure out how to. Just have to unload on two different things. It's interesting. Let's switch to here. We'll go ahead and unload this one. You can't perform that here, huh? You're full of it. Oh, because we have something attached, maybe? Like that. Why does this game do this to me? Why does this game... I just... You just watched me do that. And it's not even unloading, is it? Like, why would you... Like, I am... Literally 
a little pissed off right now. So you can't dump if you have things connected. But this is emptying, and the gravity wagon doesn't want to empty in here. Oh, I thought I was being clever, guys. All right, we'll deal with you later. And I guess we'll just uh, put you right here. Oh, my goodness. I'm actually pretty frustrated. There's some things about this game that just let me unload. Who cares if it's not the right place? I said to unload, unload. Give me a break. All right. Oh, my goodness. And you can't even, you can't even, can't even hire a worker with this, um... Okay, so we bought this, so we're going to, oh man, selling you, and I'm selling you, because you just weren't worth it. I lost a lot of money, but it's just, it didn't do the job correctly, and I was hoping to find a way to do it a little more efficiently, but uh, not, not so much, not so much. So we're going to jump in the harvester here, or the, <laughs> now I'm calling everything a harvester, we're going to jump in <laughs> the comfort king. And uh, cut the missed spots that course play missed, and then we'll come back to the other side and finish cutting the grass over there. And then we're going to pick it up 11 yards at a time. I think the moral of the story is don't use my mod list, because uh, a lot of these mods that I got are, they're not done. They're not finished. Like even this mower, we're having to set its condition back, and I think it's still making for a fun series. We're just going to have to get through this frustrated episode, because I'm cranky as, uh, yeah. Now we know course play worked with this tractor and implement setup. Let's see if a regular worker will work to cut the lawn. And I don't know why that forage harvester just didn't want to. I don't, it's again, it is settings in the XML file of the mod itself that are the problems. But Brandon, lucky you, it's your lucky day. You get to help with another job. So let's go ahead now. I wanna take, yeah, we'll take the John Deere, connect it to the, the cedar. And gosh, do we have enough goods in here? Fertilizer is going to be close. I do know we have a bag of seed over here. Let's go ahead and top off on that and get another bag of fertilizer delivered. And then we're going to get a crop put in the ground. And it looks like we have weeds over there. I swear I sprayed those. Oh my goodness. We're so behind. Okay, now we're going to, yeah, let's order a bag of fertilizer. And we'll do this brand this time, the Helm brand. And it should be right around here because I do have the store delivery on. It charges us an extra $47 for that. And top off on fertilizer. I was going to do corn, but I rage quit that forage harvester. So what should we put in here? Let's do... So we got sorghum. We got everything right now. Do we have barley and wheat growing? We just did this inventory. So wheat's growth stage, and then this one is barley and should have sorghum over there. So let's do, let's do some more barley. Cause that was a small barley field. So we're gonna go over here and set up a course and have another worker going. And first waypoints have at it. And are you gonna hit the tree? Yep, that tree's gone. All right, now let's get in. Let's, let's hope that the Oliver has enough power to pull the auger wagon. And we'll deal with the with the grass in the gravity wagon in a little bit. We might put it all on the ground and pick it up with the auger wagon. We'll figure it out. Are we stuck on something or do we not have enough power? Oh, we're stuck on something. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let, we'll let Brandon finish the other field. We'll go pick up the one that he already cut and then we will get back to business on that field. And we'll keep an eye on uh, the other worker going. Oh, you're blocked again. I'm heading over there. We got speed override going. I am cranky. Oh man, let's hop over here. All the trees, you're going away. You gotta get things in the ground. All right, and uh, well, you weren't patient enough for me to solve your problems. So let's go ahead. <laughs> Apparently you're going to be in the way too. I planted this myself last time, so I was able to avoid all of these. There we go. And that should be good now. Let's go set this to a sane speed. Which is sane's 15, so we're going to go with the recommended speed if the Oliver can do it and make a ton of trips. Wish us luck. You no, know, I was avoiding doing a bailing operation uh, for this playthrough, but we might be switching to that after this pit. See, in this... This will respect uh, the way you back up, and you're able to do it without jackknifing instantly, which is nice. 
Will we have enough power to push this all the way to the back as I stop paying attention to start a jackknifing a little bit there, but see, we're able to correct it. Okay, right there should be good. And we'll pull forward a hair. There we go. One load done. Rinse and repeat probably 20 times. And then we got to do all the grass on the outside too. Dropping our last load of silage in here. If we jump into the pit, we got close to 300 yards. So I think we did pretty good. And our workers done planting. They've been done planting for quite a while. We're gonna grab that tractor. We want this tractor, yep. And we're gonna flatten all of that. And then after that's complete, we'll take care of some weeds, which apparently are in two fields. And we need to get some lime put down on the grass fields as well as fertilizer. So we got a little bit left to do. Uh, let's get this back into its home and then we'll squash some grass. You know, some some days just uh, just don't go the way they're supposed to. And that's that's what we're learning today. So let's see if we can even do this. If we if we did a good enough job placing this to be able to compact it without getting stuck. Yeah, I'm sure there's some nice tooling we could buy for this. I thought we were stuck. So we're at 35%. So we're going to be here a while. And it's 100% done. Let's cover it. Let's uh, cover it. Get the tractor out of the way so no more spills. And yes, we we're just going to say we don't want this grass because I forgot and it's too late. So we're going to go in here and uh, this is going to be the end of the rage session. We're gonna go empty. We are gonna keep this though, because I think this will become very much in handy in the future. So that will live right there. I do want to get this in the wash bay though. Let's go ahead and do that. I want to get in a good habit of using it. Oh, that's a cool collision there. Switch back to your steering wheel goofball. All right, let's give this a shot. We haven't used this yet. Oh yeah, nice setup. Water just drains into the ground through the those crate grates right there. It's nice and clean. Spray the tires down. Very good. Put that back and you're ready for your next job. And we need some herbicide delivered. And we're gonna go out to this field first and uh, it's grown pretty well. Gosh, I really thought we did spray this. We'll go ahead and get it turned on here and we can see the weeds pretty well. So we'll get those all taken care of in this field. And let's see what the speed override recommends on this one. Oop, 12 miles an hour. Let's get the cruise control all configured there and get it all set in and away we go. Okay, that makes no sense. Why would you tip that direction if there's weight in the back? I guess the crankiness isn't over. Okay, well, this tractor is not going to work on that. You know, I probably shouldn't post this episode and just redo it, but uh, I'm a glutton for punishment and we're going to do it. I like to show real realism. This is about as cranky as I'm going to get. I added a lot out. I edited a lot out. Well, I was I was gonna put lime down and then I started driving around this field area and decided we're not gonna do lime. We're gonna cultivate this up and we are going to plant a crop that will actually help the farm uh, when it comes to our chickens. So we're done with silage and it was a short lived experiment, but it served its purpose. And after that next pit is sold, We'll definitely have one of those large uh, productions and be tracking towards our goals as they are anyways. So I don't feel too terrible about that decision and I kind of want to apologize for the attitude in this episode, but it's part of it. And if I was completely role playing, I could have just role played it as a bad day. And I think that's probably what I should have done and lessons learned. As a content creator, we're trying to get better at all times, and this is one of them where I think I fell short, but I've kind of said as I started this channel that the entire process is going to be shown to you guys, and I don't like editing out things just because I make mistakes that cause me to get cranky, be a little irritable. And there's been a couple of these speeches in, in some episodes in the past, and we just got to slow down. Like, I tried on this episode to you know, shut off the recording, and do some research on why the mods weren't working the way they're supposed to, tried to fix some of them, tried to find different mods that would work in the spirit of old school. And I think I've kind of lost track of the old school spirit too by trying to rush some progression. And we're going to get back to the basics here. We're, we're trying to be a king of chickens. Silage isn't going to get us there. It would get us financially, it would help us, but we're not learning what we need to learn about the crops that are going to feed our chickens. And... 
the way to reproduce the chickens correctly and when to send them off to the slaughterhouse and when to keep them and let them produce eggs for us for extra money. All of those things. So one of the other things we do want to kind of keep in mind is I want to eventually find another purpose for some of these crops if we have excess. So eventually we might do flour since these are all crops that basically can turn into flour. And, you know, there's a lot, a lot in the future of this farm that we want to get to and silage isn't isn't really it it's not my favorite thing to do in the game it's a great way to make money after that it's a lot more repetitive than the rest of the farming chores in my opinion you don't have to really do anything with the field besides treat it with lime and fertilization and then cut it and it's just it's too repetitive for me personally there's a place for it but let me know what you think am i being too cranky Probably. We're going to live with it, though. Well, while Brandon and Bobby are helping me with uh, some chores around here, you know, we got Bobby doing the cultivating here, and Brandon's over there helping spray some weeds. Our first fence has been put in, and we're out of lumber. So this is where it's gotten us. We got this first back part of our property fenced out, and it's looking pretty good, but we're going to need to cut down some more trees and... Get some more planks or whatever we're gonna call these. What are these called? <laughs> they're just, you know, they're like four by fours. We're just gonna get some four by fours created out of the out of the logs, and uh, yeah, we're gonna keep doing that. So it's looking pretty good. And uh, I'm just gonna drive this truck around for a little bit and and help me feel a little bit better about myself, because this truck is gorgeous. Oh, what an attitude today. Jeez. Let's check on the chickens to see how they're doing. So honestly, a little disappointed with this coop. I, it's, it should be producing more than that, but it's pretty good. 96% health. Why? Why in the world would their health not be 100? I don't know why that's saying that. Selling. These ones are zero. Oh, they're babies. Okay, so they're earning their health, so they added up. Okay. So yeah, we're, we're at a good amount in here now. Oh, yeah. And these ones, uh, they're, they're, good. they're about that age to go to the the happy place not too bad we're gonna finish our chores it looks like uh one of them just got done we're gonna get over to the other field and spray some weeds welcome back to old school we've had some time to relax after getting pretty frustrated with some of the mods and some of the features of the game last episode but we will prevail we'll move on we will you know turn a new leaf it's april it's spring Let's go ahead and get all of these strawberries sold and the eggs. We do have almost 3,000 eggs to our name right now. We have a wheat field that's ready to be harvested, as well as some plans that we got to figure out how to sell that silage as fast as possible because I want that new chicken shed. Now, the supermarket was apparently the best place to sell this today, so we will loop around back here around the Dollar General and sneak right up here. And go ahead and see what our total is. Up oh, 13,000 for the first group. Apparently we pulled a little bit too far forward. And 39,000 total, another uh, about 3,000 there. So pretty good, pretty good morning so far. Let's go ahead and head home and uh, figure out if we want to harvest or play with silage next. Now we can use our own workshop to customize this back to a grain trailer or grain truck. So that's all prepped for the harvest. I think we do want to get some of this sold. Go ahead and uncover it. Can we just, why can't we just uncover the whole thing? That's so silly. All right, so what equipment do we want to use for that? Probably the John Deere and the forage wagon. Um, Let's see if we can get that all uncovered first though. If I remember, where did we put our buckets? Way over there. Okay. All right, we got the forks dropped off there. Now let's see if we can sneak back here and get the bucket. All righty. And again, like we did a couple weeks ago, we will sneak up here and get this all unlo or uncovered, if we can remember the little tricks. Oh, we have straw in here. We got to drop that off. We'll just put that right there. That will cause problems. And then lower now. Will you let us, please? Oh, man. There we go. All right, all uncovered. Let's go ahead and just drop that because we don't really... Yeah, we don't need that. And we will park this here for now, grab the John Deere, and start loading that up. We'll do a couple trips. We'll see how quickly money's adding up here and how quick these trips feel this morning. But we do need to make sure we get to that harvest today and probably get that other field planted would be an ideal plan. So let's get started. 
And these first loads are always the easiest. We don't have to move any of it. We just drive up on it. When we get towards that back area, I got to start getting a little tricky with it. Get the silage a little closer. But let's see where it's the best price today. And we're going all the way to town. Oh, joy. Long drives all day. Just doing this drive one more time has me thinking. I've spent a lot of time, a lot of time going back and forth on this drive. I'm not sure this is the most efficient way to do things. So we're going to sell this one and then we're going to try something out. Let's see what the, what is this? Silver Run Market is paying us today. Just about, okay, 5,500. We'll take it. But let's head home and we're going to give something a shot. And forgive me if it doesn't feel too old school, but this is where we're at. All right, not the most old school setup, but I think this will do. And I do know conveyor belts are a thing that have been around for a long time, just not necessarily these models. So you'll have to forgive me. I was looking online and just kind of fell short of finding things. And to be completely honest, there's a little bit of a... Uh, issue with some of the mod sites right now where there are scripts being added to some mods that aren't officially giants mods that are approved by giants that are causing you know potential viruses or malware is the technical word so i decided to not really risk it right now and be careful because i couldn't find anything that i liked that wasn't from sites i didn't trust so at least that's the reasoning I'm going with it. And this is going to speed us up because this gravity wagon has a pretty good capacity. So I think this is a good call. We will have to detach the truck every time we sell. But that's the least of our concerns with this setup. That That's definitely something that's doable. All right. First load, almost 30 yards. Make it a lot less trips and a vehicle that we can drive a lot faster. Let's get to the store and see what one load of this setup brings in. All right, here we go. So the back there brought in just under 10,000. Let's go ahead and detach this and dump the silage in the back truck. This is going to be a lot smaller of an amount here. Probably about 3,000. Oh, 4,000. So about just under 15,000 per trip. Well, we're a little bit over halfway done with unloading the silage pit, and I think it's time to take a break and shift to harvesting. We can get the rest later. We really don't have to sell it today if we don't want to. We don't plan on filling up the pit anytime soon. So we'll go ahead and get that going. I want to shut these off, though, so they're not just burning fuel. There. Oh, those connect. No shot. That's cool. All right, those are off. 
And we'll get to harvesting. We are back in the harvester for the first time in a little bit. Hey, let's make sure we have swath enabled. It is enabled. Okay. So we're dropping some straw. Gonna get a little bit of extra income for that. It looks like we just missed a spot. Gotta be careful. So this will be good food for the chickens, but with the expansion we're getting ready to do, I think it's gonna be time to expand this field instead of just planting right away. We also have that big grass field that we cultivated last episode that we could take advantage of as well. But this is going nice. The, I think the harvester is what causes the yield to be like this, inconsistent. Not 100% sure, it might be the map. I don't know, this map's been a little, a little different the entire time we've been playing on it, but we are getting 218 bushels an acre. So that's pretty good, 35% full already. And I think it's time to buy something to store grain as well, since we're gonna want a lot larger field soon. And I do have a decent silo in mine that can handle multiple types of grain. So we'll be looking at that, trying to find a good location for it. That's not gonna intrude on any space that we wanna make for fields. But yeah, it's going good. Still hovering around about 218 bushels an acre. Dropped a little bit below it, but it's doing pretty well. While that's unloading, just kind of taking a look here and this does open, so we don't want to intrude on that too much. But I do think right here would be a good place for one of these silos. It's gonna cost us 30 grand. We're gonna go with this one right here. And let's bring it a little bit off of the chicken coop there and about right so. Just because it's new and I want to try it, let's do it. Might be beneficial to top off the two chicken houses here. Though, I th oh man, kind of want to get rid of them when we do the big move, but we'll do that slowly. This will be the last time we fill this up. And that gives us seven months-ish to make that move. We might just sell these chickens off to the slaughterhouse. Don't tell them. There's a spot, drop a few more bushels here. 15, so they went through a good amount. And now let's try out our new silo. Very, very nice. This will work out good. We'll do some more decorating and make it look like the ground is worn out a little bit over time from us driving on it. Let's get this all hooked back up. We probably don't need the gravity wagon, but I don't know. It's kind of fun. All right, let's let that sit while we jump back in the harvester and get back to work. Another harvest finished. Just this last little section here to pick up and then we'll drop it off in the gravity wagon and go from there. We will have to get back to selling the silage because I do want enough cash to buy that new chicken coop today so get that unloaded and let's go in here and see how we're doing over 200 bushels so far and if we look at our inventory we should we can see that we have oh yeah it shows the wrong numbers on here this one shows the right one 46 bushels in the silo so we're, we're gonna hold off on topping off these chickens over here because they should have plenty of barley left yeah 22,000, and they're probably gonna get relocated and we're gonna reclaim this land as well i'm thinking still unloading nice there we'll hop in here so we can get the harvester prep to get cleaned go ahead and shut the auger wagon auger wagon close the auger and we'll hop in here i think it'll fit yeah it fits perfect any bigger headers not gonna do it at least not attached like that so let's hop over here get this all washed down and i think we have another harvest coming here in a month so we'll get this all put away though back to where it was this morning after it's clean. Top in here and I can't see the button. That's interesting. So when we're out here with our little uh, interactive buttons, you can open the door, but I couldn't see it when I was inside. And then this folds it on up. That's pretty neat. All right, so we'll just go ahead and put it through our little drive-through area here for safekeeping. And that should do it. Perfect. Let's get the grain moved around. And we did figure out that we could tip both of these at the same time. It was just in the silage pit where we're having problems with that. So now we should be able to unload this, switch to the truck and unload the wheat. Pretty cool looking silo. And we'll go ahead and get that going again. I think this one was shut off. Um, let me in. turn on start engine, turn on conveyor belt, and then that should be good. There we go. All right, let's get a tractor set up on the wind rower, and we're going to row all that up and then bail it. I think you can do the job here. Go ahead and pull this forward while we have a second. Keep on unloading. 
Oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. Good. There we go. All right. So what we're going to do with the Comfort King here is we're going to set up a worker. They're going to rake this up in nice rows for us, and then we will use the same course to pick up the, the straw and turn it into bales. So we should be able to just get right about here. Go into course play. We'll clear the existing course, and then we'll do... Yeah, that looks good. And first... Whoops. First waypoint. That should be good. But then before we forget, we'll go in here. We will create a folder. Um, Let's see. I don't... I named this. I think this is the first field. We'll do that. We will save the course. We'll activate that. And give us a course name of row bale. And then we'll be able to load that course on a different tractor if we choose to not use the Comfort King. All right, that's still close. We're almost full. And quite a bit left to move. Definitely hoping we're well over 100,000 when we get done. All brakes aren't as good as I thought they were. All right, make some more money. Boy, this takes forever. Same price, a little bit less than it was earlier today, but I think we're still good. We might want to check the prices while we're filling up the next load to make sure we're still selling to the best price location. Let's head back and get some more, and I think it's going to be about four more trips. Now let's see what we have left in here. We open up F1. Still 100 yards, so I think, uh, yeah, about four more trips. We're waiting for another load to fill up. We're going to head out here, grab the spreader, and get some lime put down on this field out here. Hoping the fence doesn't end up being in the way too much we might have to adjust the field if that's the case but we'll see how far this lime gets us shouldn't be in too bad of a condition nope it's pretty pretty good so we'll go ahead and just get it to a perfect state and there they go we'll probably take this over after we're done selling the silage because we're going to get this field planted today Let's see how our worker here's doing they got 12 minutes to go taking your time huh this little field yeah it's a little little rake so it makes sense and this is going pretty good not using too much product which is ideal here and almost full perfect timing well after this load we are over a hundred thousand dollars most of that's going to get spent pretty quickly here but let's go get the rest of the silage and see where we're sitting at we do have the gravity wagon and one of the conveyor belts leased so we want to keep that in mind when we do our next purchases. Wow. Did not think they would get done that fast. We're still moving silage. But that's a positive. And plenty of lime left over. Might as well go get the, the cedar all hooked up. Oh, no, it's still going. I'm losing my mind. It's done, though. It's done. There we go. There is a new building that I'm wanting to place down. We're going to hop out right here. Go into this menu. Go to, I believe it's containers. Yes, right here. This one's the fertilizer hut. We want the seed hut here. So this will give us seed, lime, and herbicide. We're going to put that right there. We're going to come around on the other side here. And we're going to put down the fertilizer hut, which could get a solid or liquid fertilizer. Very nice. And I think it's a nice little addition to the buildings. And the way they're facing is based on function, not necessarily looks there. Let's go ahead and hop in here, and we should be able to just pull up here and buy the seed we need. And uh, I think I need to open up. Well, what do we do here? No, nope. right, let's shut this off, get the rest of the silage sold while we're killing a little bit too much time here. Should be one little bit left when we get back. Won't even fill up, probably won't even fill up the truck. Then we're back to 100,000 after buying those little buy stations like we're getting ripped off by this worker here there's no way it should take that long come on man all right this is our last trip bunker should be emptied here momentarily hoping it's it'll all fit in the truck it's gonna keep on going huh we got 10 liters okay so our yards we will need to pull forward but not a ton going in the gravity wagon all right all set let's go get it sold and last silage sailing of the day oh boy it's one hundred eight thousand dollars. that'll give us enough money to purchase the new building and have it delivered. Let's get home and get that done. And then we'll put some more wheat in the ground. Not sure where that's gonna live. That'll work for now. Let's head on out to the grass field and pick out this location. All right, I think I wanna go from this direction so we make sure we don't put it too far back. And I think I have everything turned on that I need. So we'll go into animals, chickens, and it is the large old chicken coop. So if we look here, there's doors there, there's doors there. 87,000. Let's 
give us enough room. Try to get a nice angle on it. And about right there. Now, let's look over here. I think we wanted this side the other way. Let's go take a look. We might redo that. Wow, this field's so much bigger than I thought it was. No wonder I'm so annoyed when I cut it. This is a huge grass field. Man, what are you birds do it on our new building? All right, so it looks like it raised the ground a little bit. Oh, the icons are not on. They are on. Where, where's all our icons? We gotta go in here for them? Ooh. Look at this place. Interesting. That's where we put the food? Okie dokie, what do you tell me? What's happening? Did those just open for the chickens? Oh, they're food! Interesting. This... This is pretty cool. Uh-huh. Close that. Open this up. Sneak through here. Got a nice little trash can. Place to get the eggs out of. Okay. Nice little entrance here as well. This is a pretty... Pretty cool shed. And walk over that. Go ahead and make sure this door is shut. And let's uh, let's get a few in here. We'll, yep, yep. We'll just we'll get a rooster. And then let's start with. We don't want to overdo it in here. And we want these ones to reproduce a lot. We're gonna go with twenty. It's gonna be two thousand eventually, and it's gonna take a little bit of time. But that's what we're gonna start with. Let's take a look in here. All right, let's get them some food over here. And I went a little light on the amount of chickens because we don't have a lot of spare food right now. And I want to learn a little bit about how much they're going to eat before we go crazy on that. So I guess we decided not to flip it around. Okay, that's, that's going to drive me nuts. Let's stop right now. So spin it like so. Try to line it up about exactly where it was. And get this angle, because that did seem to help. Go about right there. And I hope I did that right this time. And let's fix the money. We're going to set it to a random $19,000 number. And this truck should fit in here pretty easily. Can't really see well in here. And will it not let me dump this because we don't have any chickens? Let's find out. I think that might be the case. Select there, we'll buy you again. And we'll go here and let's just do 60. Okay. Now, will you let me dump it? What is it with this game? I accidentally quit. I was trying to open a debug menu and I quit. Well, let's see if it likes this and just didn't like the truck. And, um, yeah, I'm a little back to where we were the other day. Can't do this. All right, let's try this. Control F4, maybe it's Control F5. Okay, let's look and see. This is the hitbox, maybe? Maybe it's gotta go right here? Nope, if there's anything outside. There's definitely no object here. Unless it's all the way on that. Nothing outside. Uh, maybe... Does this tell me? F lift dispenser. Lower dispenser. Okay. Well, I've been trying around a few things, and... I just quit again. So I've now unintentionally exited twice. There was not rage quitting this time. I yeah, did a little research. We figured out it's actually a pretty cool little chicken coop. We're going to go over there, see if we can get it to work. I think it'll be just fine. So you open this thing up and I'll show you. We'll hop in there and you click right here and it contracts it or we open it on up. So we don't necessarily have to come in here with the truck for this part. But from what I saw, we're gonna have to get something to get the eggs in there. So yeah, now we're able to, beautiful. 
All right, that's all loaded up. Now we can come in here and close that. Very nice. And the chicken's food is on the ground, so I guess we can stop them from eating, apparently, by doing this. And it raises it. But I don't know if that's functional. Put that back down for them to eat. And then over here is where all the eggs are going to spawn. There's our spawn spot. That'll be fun. I have a forklift in mind for that, though. All right, let's go ahead and close all this up. We will deal with more chicken stuff later, but it's getting late. It's getting late. We need to get some seed in the ground, and it's a big field. We got wheat selected. We got full of fertilizer and seed. So we'll go ahead and, oop, that was a little too early. Go ahead and lower it and get to planting. Oh, yeah. This is already looking great. And while that's planting, we did have a worker take over momentarily before I finished that because I wanted to just ex end this episode real quick. We're going to purchase the gravity wagon. The belt system we cannot afford yet. So we have $5,000 to our name and a good amount of equipment. Looking pretty good. How's it going? Back to old school here, and we have a field to harvest. We have the John Deere out here already with the gravity wagon ready to collect the grain from the sorghum harvest. Let's see if we can sneak through here and get started on that right away. We also have some straw to pick up and potentially more chickens to, to buy because I do want to speed up the production of eggs on that production on the production on the chicken coop, you know? We got the big chicken coop last episode and I really wanna get more chickens in there. So all of this food's probably gonna go directly over to that coop. I don't know why coop's so hard for me to remember. It's a coop. I've known about chicken coops my whole life. But we'll go ahead and focus on this field to begin with. We'll pick up that straw as well and be productive. I do think we're gonna expand some fields. We're gonna focus on expanding the crop productions. Oh my goodness, not everything's a production, Chris. We're gonna, we're gonna work on expanding the fields because we want more crops. We wanna expand that part of the operation. And at some point we're gonna have to buy more land, but I do want to keep progressing with some of this these plans. The next thing we need to save money up for is the slaughterhouse. So far looking pretty good. We got 188 bushels an acre going right now, about halfway through the headland. This crop's a little tough to see at least in my angle, where we've harvested, but we should be able to get it done pretty good. And one of the other things, upgrading this harvester, to get a bigger harvester, I think should be coming pretty soon also on our plans. But that straw field, the field we harvested last episode that had wheat in it, we're going to make that a little bit larger later on today. And we'll replant this field next month, but I want to focus on that one this month again. You know, turning these over, hoping we have something to harvest as often as possible. That's not grass. And uh, go from there. Just about a full hopper here on the headland. 99%? What are the odds of that? And I think since we're so close, we'll just turn off the harvester or the turn off the header and cruise on over here and unload. We'll get the wagon a little bit closer to help us out in the future. But that's not bad, 101 bushels already, just from the headland. I think the chickens will dig that. And it looks like we have some strawberries to sell as well, which I kind of want those to pile up for a little bit, as well as the eggs and the honey. And we can do, you know, one selling event every once in a while. Very nice, got that all unloaded. Get this turned back on and we'll continue on our merry way. So while we finish the sorghum harvest, I wanted to test our theory on the course play. I was thinking about it a little bit more and, oh, we got some stuff to move around. With the offset of this trailer, we're gonna have to adjust this course. So go ahead and load it in. We go up here. We got the only, only course we've created so far. We'll go ahead and load it and activate it. And then the offset shows negative 0.2. Let's set this to first waypoint, let them go. And we'll see if we need to adjust the offset, if, if anything. All right, they kicked it out there. Are they gonna pick up straw? I don't, it doesn't seem like they are aligned. That's the wrong way, okay. So we'll shift it over this way a little bit more. Probably run into this tree, offset about right there. A little bit more maybe. That seems to do it, but we might run into a tree on the way around. And then I also, I don't think the baler or the trailer is set to actually catch these yet. Oh, it is, okay. 
So we'll anticipate this tree being in the way. It might not be though. Let's see. Yeah, that seems to be good. We can pick up the rest. This would be a ton of help while we finish this harvest. Grain cart is near full. Or not the grain cart, but the harvester. All right, let's let them continue. We'll get back to the harvest. So with the uh, helper taking over, they're gonna, oh, they are facing the right way, perfect. All right, let's get over there, help them unload, keep going. We can get that little strip last. Got 275 bushels so far. This is about to be completely full, so we'll help it empty out. And I wanted to get that straw picked up because right after this, I want to get working on the next harvest and they're blocked by an object. I can't imagine what that is at that point, but we'll get this unloaded and go take a look at that and get the straw to keep going. But good amount of sorghum so far. All right, that's going to empty. So we'll go back over. Yeah, too much stuff to tap through. All right, you, my friend, are going to the sawmill. All right, just drive over the stump. All right, go ahead and get this all cleared up like so, and we'll carry it on over. Should be light enough. It's a small little twig. And we do need to get some more wood over there so we can finish our fences. So we might cut down a few more trees around here. And I already forgot where the drop off spot is. So that'll just, uh, they'll just stay there for now. Just about a full gravity wagon here. Almost the 440 bushels that hold this holds. So let's head on over to the production. The coop, it's a coop and drop this off and that should be pretty good timing for the harvester to be full again. Nice path here. I do want to get some roads established. We're starting to get a little unorganized when it comes to our driving around the farm. All right, so how is this gonna work? Can we go on the side? Let's go ahead and park right there. We'll hop in, we'll get the feeder opened or whatever this is called. Uh, there it goes. And can we go from the side? Okay, so only rear loading, apparently. Okay, this might get tricky. Let's try to, oh, I didn't think about this. Will this work? No. Okay, so I guess we will put this in the silo and then we'll use the crane truck to, uh, to yeah, do lots of trips. So we'll do that all after. Stop getting blocked. What are you doing over there? What do you, what do you even, what, what is it? I don't even know what to remove. Or is it, is it, what are you, I don't get it. Imaginary thing, blocked by object. What object? Are you anticipating this? I don't, I don't see what you possibly could be blocked by. That was a little loud, I'm sorry. Someone needs a vacation. But yeah, thank you for all the, the, the awesome, awesome comments uh, dealing with my crankiness and how relatable apparently it is and I do, I do like showing all of that, but I don't like how consistent it's been the last few times, especially on this series. I, I bit off a series that I knew was going to frustrate me with the smaller equipment and the limitation of just the older equipment. I just didn't think it would come this soon. So I think after year two, we'll take a little break. I do want to do at least three years of this playthrough. So that's the plan right now, or we might switch to only a super cut for year three. We'll see how it goes. But like anything or anybody sitting on the same save file for a while gets a little um, tiresome. And I, I don't think it's necessarily, you are blocked by imaginary things. I've never ran into this before. So that's, it's very, very strange. So we'll go about right here. We'll see, no, no, we gotta go farther. We already learned that lesson. Right, here we go. And hopefully that'll get them past that. And we gotta get back to the grain cart cause it's, uh, or the harvester cause it's almost full. I guess we have a little bit in here still. And it, it stopped. Completed. Oh, you think you're done. Okay. Yeah, we didn't do a course play on this. So this is just regular AI workers. So that's understandable. Probably just uh, bust out the rest of this harvest ourselves. And hopefully the imaginary I objects uh, stop blocking the harvest or the, <laughs> the grain cart. The, oh my goodness. And hopefully the imaginary objects stop blocking the baler. Super close to giving up on this. Super close to just doing this myself. Now that, I mean, honestly, it's somewhat hilarious to me, this uh, imaginary thing that they're running into, but at the same time, it's it's pretty frustrating. A lot of things, and, and at this point, I, only, I just assume that it's due to some of the mods we're using and not necessarily the game itself. So we gotta keep that in mind with our frustrations. We decided to use mods that haven't been tested by giants and haven't been approved they're not in mod hub and that's kind of the outcome as you know i've had to adjust some of these mods to work already so you just kind of 
gotta deal with it, right? That's the risk you take, and I wouldn't really recommend people playing this way unless they're willing to deal with the frustration and remember not to really blame giant software for, for the problems they're having because it has nothing to do with them, at least on this case. And you know what? Let's shut this off. We'll just do it ourselves because that's, uh, that's not working out for us. Let's get this harvest finished. And yeah, I think it's definitely that setup I, I noticed that time. All right, harvest is done. We'll drop off the rest of the grain here in the gravity wagon and then switch on over to get those. Uh, we don't really need the food over there yet, so we can do the rest of our chores around the farm. And then after that, we can move the, the sorghum over to the, to the coop out there. And now that I'm like questioning myself, that is a food, right? That they eat? I don't know why I'm questioning myself. Yeah, sorghum. Okay. And then I don't know. Yeah, we don't have a harvest coming up next month. This field's going to be the closest, and it looks like it needs its weeds sprayed. Okay. Lots to take care of today. We'll get this dropped off at the silo. And I did have a nice comment, and I apologize for who said it, but should said I should have done the silo red, and... I somewhat agree. Uh, I didn't want to go with the same color for everything, but since it would have been a perfect, perfect match, probably should have done that. Uh, but I like the white one, so. But I appreciate the comment and somewhat agree. All right, we can go ahead and shut that off. We can't, we've learned that lesson. We'll let that finish and then we'll shut it off, which something that doesn't need anything mechanical, that should be able to finish unloading with the tractor off, right? Am I right? Because I have to come over here. Once this is done, 45 more bushels to go, and we would have to twist this ourselves to close it. We wouldn't be sitting in the tractor anyways. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that twisted to close. Yep, yep, and there it goes. And now we can shut it off. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in here and see how many more bales we can create. And then we'll work on expanding this field. Probably have to cut down a few more trees for that. But we have four, 54 bales already. Cruise around here. Get all this cleaned up, at least a good portion of it. We're not gonna go crazy and make sure we get every little bit of straw. We'll be here all day. That lined up there, perfect. All right, let's get this all busted out. And we'll see if the Comfort King can pull it all the way. I think it can. I think we've done a full load with the Comfort King and it was fine. All right, we are 100% full here. Let's go ahead and shut it off, raise it. Um, yeah, we got, we, that's what I did. Okay, okay, I see what I did. All right, I was on the wrong implement. And I pushed B earlier, and I can't figure out which one actually... Sh there we go. All right. Let's go sell this. And it's hard to tell. Everything shows up as being on the front of the heart or the tractor, as you can see in the top left. Excuse me. In the top left there. And so that was causing me to push buttons, thinking I was activating the baler. I was not. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. All right. Let's swing on over here. And we should be able to easily sell, well, if we can. Maybe not, maybe we'll turn around. Easy for us to say and not do. All right, let's go slow, slow, there we go. All right, let's open the menu, make sure we're selected on the trailer. Really, wow, I have no words, I have no words. All right, and then we'll switch to the baler and try to unload, there we go. Got those two unloaded, so we'll get those sold. Oh man, drop that. And then the other one must have sold. No, it's on there. You silly bale. And there it goes, 73 more dollars. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's clear us the way to get the plow out and make that field a little bit bigger. We got a few trees we want to cut down, so we'll get that rolling next. And we're going to drop this off at the wash bay for a little bit of maintenance, uh, clean it up later, and then we'll probably swing it around and see if there's anything that needs to be repaired on it later on. Let's go ahead and get in the John Deere, get the cultivator or plow. I can't remember which actual implement that one is. All hooked up and figure out which trees we want to remove and start getting that field prepped for the next harvest here or the next planting session. There it is. Wow, I was so frustrated by the by my my skills. There, I forgot to mention, we're up to $11,000 now. Pretty nice. That was about eight grand for the straw. We probably could get a, maybe a thousand or two out of what's left here, but I think we're good. So let's go ahead and buy some trees we want to cut down. I think we want to leave that big one, but that one right there will take, these two will take. 
Do that, do that, and then run out here. Maybe those, I'm not sure yet. All right, we'll get those moved over to the sawmill. Actually, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and take these ones. Yep, these three will do just fine. We'll probably, like I said, we want to expand a little bit. So, all right, we'll get these moved and then we'll do that. All right, let's get this unfolded and then we will have to turn on allow fields. So we'll back up around onto the field, I think. Yeah, about right here and leave room for a road eventually is always what we want to do. We'll go ahead and start creeping this direction and we can have a nice road in between these two fields and enough room to keep those trees because I think it would be nice to keep some vegetation. And then also I want to keep a gap between the forests because that is tech not technically our land there. So I want to keep it to where we can have a road on our property until we buy or ex decide to expand that way. And I'm kind of just eyeing where this field is now. I think I want to go up and start jetting towards the tree in front of us. So we'll head that way now. And then we can loop back and connect the field. And I think that'll be a good, yeah, that's a good size. And we'll just hug this these existing trees here. Not really hug them. I think we've learned not to go too close to them because then we're gonna have to cut them down eventually. But we'll leave a nice gap there and just a nice round field. I don't square my fields off. I got a couple comments about that and yes, it could be more efficient, but it doesn't look nice. I don't find it to be an attractive look of fields to just have a bunch of square fields. So that's why I go with these shapes. And then I think, yeah, let's get off the road a little bit there and we'll respect those trees because I think those are nice to have and cut back here and start blending into the original field like so. All right, time to bust this out. Another nice large field, or it's getting large. I wouldn't say it's large, but you know, for us and our equipment and our implements and our harvester, it's pretty good size. So we'll go ahead and queue this up to get cleaned as well. But we're gonna drop the, okay, it's driving me nuts. It's gotta be a cultivator, right? Yeah, it's a cultivator. Not necessarily a plow. This is a deeper cultivator than some other ones though. But let's go ahead and yeah, we'll place it here and we'll come back for that and clean it up later. But I do want to start getting lime laid down. And one of the things I don't remember if we mentioned, I'm kind of taking a liberty of getting the soil samples for free because of the issues we're having. We didn't want to use precision farming on this playthrough, but it happened. Uh, so let's go in here. We go this way and we buy this again. 4,000. Yeah, we're not spending $4,000 on that or here. Three, six, seven, five. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to pop in here and we'll add back three, six, seven, five. That's what I've been doing. Like call it cheating. That's fine. You can call it cheating if you want. It's it's uh, I didn't want to use precision farming. We got kind of stuck with it because of the way this map has some bugs in it. Not Brendan's fault. It was the original map creator that this was built off of. That's why the latest map that he created uh, was completely from scratch. So let's go ahead. I believe we can buy lime over here. Turn too much. Switch back to your steering wheel, dummy. Uh, let's open up the back. Why are my buttons not working today? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't want to unload. I want to open. Why, why not just map it to end like other things? Why not? Why not? Because I can't buy from here if I don't have the top open. I see it for a second. What is it? Alt zero? Alt. Let's unload. I don't know what I just hit. You first need to fill the tool. Yeah, I understand that. Um, that's what I'm trying to do. Where did it go if it unloaded? Oh, it went all the way over there. So I'm either just dumb or I, 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 I don't know. But I think we got it. We just cheated the system here. It's not costing us money. But the top's gonna close, yeah, yeah. Z, you're gonna map it to Z? Yep, that'll do the trick. Okay, now we're buying lime. And that's an expensive purchase, apparently, from this. Uh, I feel like that's a little more expensive than it would have been if we didn't buy it from here. But $3,200 gone. And hopefully this field can turn into a course play so that we can shift gears and move that sorghum around. Oh, this right here I wanted to show. This right here is a little uh, dynamic sky it says sell point, but you place that down and that's why the, the clouds look a little different. We got some other options. Like if you hop in here, I believe it's, is it under decorations? I always forget. And let's get a good view of the sky. So yeah, we have all these other ones and they're kind of conflicting with each other. If we turn this way, um, let's go ahead and sell this one. Yep. 
And now it's back to the default one, but then we go like this. And oh yeah, I don't like that one that much. That looks pretty sweet. Let's use that for a little bit. Hop in here and we look back there. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, pretty cool mod. And if we look in decorations again real quick and show the mod name, other, it is called Dynamic Sky. All right, let's get over here, try to do this with course play. Um, I believe that's just a rendering issue. That tree is gone out there. Let's clear the course, hop on here. We can do one headland because of it being a spreader. And we'll go first waypoint. And do your thing. All right, let's get the uh, truck going and you're gonna be in the way. And unfortunately, this is gonna take a little bit to go back and forth, but with the speed of the truck, it shouldn't be too frustrating. Oh, puppy, what's, look out, pup, look out, pup. Whew. All right, let's go ahead and, oh, we have some wheat in here still. Let's go ahead and move the rest of the wheat first. That will fit, yeah, we could get all of it. And we'll go ahead and drive over there, unload this. You have a crop there. So yeah, see that we need roads, we need roads. We'll get that sorted out soon. But we still have this open, so we should just have to back right into it, or up to it. And that should allow us to unload the wheat. There we go. And they have 6,000 liters, so after this, they're gonna have a good amount. We only have 61 chickens. They take straw, but we're not gonna do that, because I don't really want manure from chickens. See how things are looking in here. Yeah, good amount. All right, do your thing. Yeah, that'll be good for now. We'll keep the sorghum in the silo. Let's go ahead and close the close everything up so chickens can't escape. Should be okay though. That's just safekeeping, right? All right, let's get back home. See how the lime's doing after that. I think we're gonna put a crop that grows quick and we can just turn some profit on. Since we do have a couple fields right now that will go towards the chicken's food already. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, let's see, this can just sneak in right here. We need to get a little more organized and I think we're about one shed short of what we need. So we might need a little bit more storage, maybe a bigger one. While that's doing that, I'm gonna use the wood we have to add a little more fences. Again, guys, this is 100% role playing that we're using the material on the property. So you can see this is as far as we've gotten the fence this direction. So we're getting a good little outline of the property. We can see how much farther we can extend these fields if we want to. We'll need to put some gates in eventually. I'm not doing that yet until we figure out exactly where we're gonna want them. And you can see a nice little elevation change. And I think we can get our money back for this thing now. We don't need that. So we'll get our 14 bucks back here. And then if we cruise up top, it goes all the way over to the chicken coop. No weeds here. Oh, there are weeds. Yeah, so we got some weeds to take care of next. But if we go over, yeah, some more terraforming needs to be done over here to improve things. Uh, this one we'll keep until we round it out. Yeah, all right. Oh, we're stuck now, we gotta turn around. Little elevation change there. It raised the fence when it raised the ground, which we might end up fixing. I don't really like that. But let's head back, see how they're doing with lime. Should be done, or close to being done. And it looks like we had an offset wrong. It looks like maybe we had an offset wrong there. We'll, we'll figure that out. All right, we'll park by the house here. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll pull a Brendan here. Yep, park it up like that. All right. And then let's grab, yeah, the Oliver and the sprayer and get some weed sprayed. They finish their job. So once we get this job started, we can then switch over and finish the lime. Didn't realize this. So what do we have here? We have some barley growing and I believe out here we have wheat. So yeah, we'll do some oats. They grow fast. So that should help us get some, just some money coming in. Do that first waypoint on your way. And then here we'll go ahead and turn this back on and we'll go ahead and finish spreading some lime around here. Get all the spots that were missed. I'll have to check what was wrong with the settings there for next time, but not a ton we'll have to do ourselves. So they got a good job, did a good job for us. I have a feeling that offset, yeah, that, that six meter offset was from the previous setting, even though it was a different tractor. That's interesting. Yeah, if we get this set back to zero, there shouldn't be any offset here because uh, the center is the center. So there we go. That's what caused that problem. You know, kind of silly. It would have made sense to start with the front entrance with fences, but we started with the back because who knows? We didn't think through it, that's why. And I'm glad that was enough lime. We got about 16% left here in the hopper. Oh, I guess we could close it again. And that'll do it for this field. We'll go ahead and check on the, the weeds. I think we're gonna hold off till next month to plant this because we don't have a lot to do next month. So that's that's why. 
This needs washed and clean too. We need to do some maintenance. We need to do some maintenance. We'll put this over here and stage that. When we get done with our work for the day, we'll go ahead and do all the maintenance on it. Just about out, had a feeling. We'll go ahead and stop this. I'll take over. We'll go refill this and hopefully we can finish this field. It might be time to start looking at a sprayer with more capacity too. Now, will this let us refill herbicide here? Or are we gonna have to buy herbicide? Cause this one, I don't think you can open. It just respects it. Nice. So that was $700. Go ahead and unfold here and get some more weeds sprayed. Perfect job for the Oliver. Yeah, kill those weeds. Yeah, and I shifted to taking care of the fields that we already have planted because they're more important than the field that we want to plant next. So we do have that other field that we could lime as well. We might get two planted next episode because we could do two different crop types that will grow at different paces. And I think that would be wise. So that'll be the plan for June as we get to the halfway point of year two there in the next episode. Barely missed that one. We'll have to loop around. Hopefully we have enough product left. We'll shut it off here and then we'll turn it back on to get this weed. And then I think we need to fill it back up and do this field to our left. Um, does it have weeds? Probably just small baby ones at this point. It does, yeah, it has a good amount. So that's gonna take a little bit of time. That's a big field. Definitely gonna look into some newer implements or a bigger sprayer very soon. Another 700 bucks there. Come in here, yep. I think we are gonna let this one go on a course. And everything looks good there. And we're gonna turn it on to purchase. I think that's down here. Um, where is that setting? Where is that setting? Go ahead and purchase these for now. And that will allow them to spend our money, but uh, get it done without having to stop. And we'll shut that off which is quite a bit more expensive. Usually I feel like there's something wrong there. So what I've been doing is setting the course play to zero since they're spending so much money. I don't think it's a realistic amount. Like when they get done, it's gonna be well more than $2,000 probably. We'll play around with it. All right, let's get some of this stuff cleaned up so we can put it away. Whoops, go ahead and grab that. Spray this down. The Comfort King all taken care of. And the baler, it's pretty dirty as well. You know, maintaining your stuff. We got to keep it clean. And it'll break down less often. And it just looks nicer, right? Is that as clean? Yeah, I think it's just some paint damage there. All right, let's get this one put away. Sneak this in right next to the setup there. And then we'll get the rest of this stuff cleaned up. Which I guess would be kind of weird to like... Let's unload that. We'll put the rest of the lime in here. We'll have to remember that's there. Got some lime and fertilizer and herbicide and seeds there. All right, let's get the John Deere in the wash bay. And the spreader. Yeah, pretty filthy. Pretty filthy. Super 600's been doing a great job, though. This is one of those things that needs a home. Like, we're running out of some spaces here. Get this organized a little better. All right, got that all cleaned off as well. And this one I think we'll leave outside. I think, yeah, we'll put it right next to this barn over here for now. We're running out of space. Probably organize better, but keeping that pull through there available for us is kind of messing us up. So maybe it wasn't the best design to begin with. See that there. And the John Deere, I believe we can park in the maintenance bay for now. Yep, got room for it there. Perfect. All right. Let's see, in this, we're going to take some liberties. We're going to pick this up. We're going to put it in here. Like so. Hi. Let's look at your buttons so we can remember. Pet R. Yeah. I'm here. Okay. Come. Go home. Nice. Okay. So you can have them sit somewhere. Yeah, I knew that. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's check on our weeds getting sprayed. Doing a great job there. Way to go, Brandon. All right. And that's all the time we have for this episode. We'll get these weeds sprayed. We'll pick up next episode with taking care of the sorghum field as well as putting oats in the new big field that we created. Hello. Welcome back to old school. Today we're going to buy some transportation for our chickens. Well, I say buy, but we're gonna have to lease it to begin with. Let's go ahead and hook up to it here. 
And this should allow us to move the chickens from the original coops to the new big coop. And yep, that means it's time to get rid of them. The coops, that is, not the chickens. Oh, look at the sky this morning. Something going on with this steering wheel. I cannot drive recently. So we'll see how this mod works. Let's see if it's going to actually allow us to move the chickens, if we can figure it out. Let's turn on the menu to help us out here. Open animal dialogue. And it went away. There we go. All right, so we select these. We're going to take all 20. Move them in the trailer. Can we see them? There they are. Nice. All right, let's go on to the other one since we know that's working, at least to pick them up. Yeah, I'm purchasing this trailer. I went back and forth. There's a couple options. We could have had some crates that could hold like six chickens, but I decided to go down this route because we are going to have to move them to the slaughterhouse pretty often. Um, back, let's go select here, select 20, move to trailer. And then I yeah, kind of debating on this other one. Do we wait? Because it's a lot of food to waste. That's a lot of money right there. Uh, I guess I could scoop it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out in a minute. All right, let's go ahead and head on over to the new production coop and see about dropping these off. The big question is, is it going to fit? Seems to be fitting pretty good. Back on up. Now we can straighten out. All right, that works pretty well. So $25 or 20 of them. We'll move them in here. Now we have 81. Do it again. And we have 101. That's working pretty well. All right, next, I think we want to grab these egg crates and kind of get them out of the way. Let's pick this one up. We'll take it over to this other one. And we got a decent amount. I think we will do some egg selling today. I'm just going to put these here just for now. That's exciting. All right, let's get this other one. And Lynn, I think I'll get a shovel and we'll get the grain truck out here and scoop out the rest of this chicken feed. The dog's in the bed of the truck. Look at this. That's hilarious. All right, we got the feed out of here. I think that'll do. Let's go ahead and jump in here. And goodbye. And goodbye. Okay, we got a little bit of cash. Can we pay off that uh, lease now? This one is... Where's the amount? Purchase. Nope. Oh, man. This one we can, let's hold on, let's hold on. All right, so next, let's go ahead and drop this food off at the new coop. I don't wanna just make money off of it, but we can at least give it back to the chickens. All right, back that up right there. We'll have to get this extended outside like so and drop off the little bit of barley we have in here. Very nice, put that back away and shut it on up for him. Moving pretty good. All right, we'll have to, gosh, we need more money. We need more money. So to get more money, let's go ahead and drive into our workshop, reconfigure this truck so we can get some goods sold. Go get the panels, you know, put to the side there. So they're just not in the way, makes it easier to load on these strawberry crates. Crates, pallets. We'll get those all loaded up and head on to the store. And I think we'll grab the honey pallet as well. It's not completely full, but we'll get it on here and get it sold. I think it'd be wise to do a second trip with the eggs. We don't want any of them to fall and get damaged on our way into town. And let's check the prices. Supermarket it is. Let's head on in. All right. Sneak around here. And there's two sale points. I don't. They have different prices, too. I don't know which one's which. We just always go for this one. So I think they're all getting... Are they all in this point? I think so. There we go. Except for maybe that top one. Let's uh, scoot a little bit this way. There we go. All right. Not too great. Not too bad. A little $7,000 for just watering our little garden there. And let's go get the eggs. The eggs will bring in a little bit better profit or dollar amount, I believe. Head on into the new chicken coop and see what we have for eggs at this point. I'm not sure how much it produced, but this will be the one time I'm going to take liberties and use super strength. We are going to buy a nice set of forklifts and be able to take them out of here that way. But today we are trying to fund a few things. So let's go ahead. Yeah, I figured this is probably... Yeah, I don't even need super strength for that, so I don't even feel bad. There we go. Doop, doop. Oh, let's close the door. I always got to close the door. Don't want any accidents in here. All right, let's go see how much money this brings in. Might as well check to see where the best price is. Supermarket. And I went ahead and tagged the one this time to see if we could tell the difference between the two, and it looks like it did put it on this one. So, yeah, I'm kind of interested. I don't under understand. I didn't. I never realized that this uh, supermarket had two sell points. So it must be two stores in here, not just one. Yeah, and that brought in a decent amount of money, about... $12,000 there with the environmental score bonus. 
which is kind of large right there. 10%? That's kind of kind of sweet. Okay, so we have $46,000, and I think what we're going to do next is we're going to buy the conveyor belts and sell them. And then sell the silage pit and go from there. All right, this one will be first. We'll go ahead and uh, just sell it. Now this one we're gonna have to buy. So let's go in here and we'll go to purchase $36,000. Takes most of our money, but then we're gonna move it on over, get in here and get it sold. Three miles an hour. We can get there. We can get there. Not an old school conveyor belt, so. It's going bye-bye. All right, I heard the click. I heard the click. We'll go in here, repaint, nah, but give me my $33,000. Lost money there, but that's the way the game works for us. Next, we're gonna move the rest of those chickens. We're gonna get this job done. I'm going to hook up to that, because this is gonna be a lot more scooping. A lot more scooping. So we're gonna need the gravity wagon, but then we'll have to transfer it to the silo and then we can feed chickens. Sorry, truck. And I think we might need to get some more water today added to our garden there. All right, we'll line up right about here and start scooping away. All right, that's about all we're gonna be able to get out of that. Uh, it is kind of damaged, but we got about 15,000 of the 20,000 liters. We're gonna drop it in here for now. And again, we'll have to use a different vehicle to to move that. Let's jump in the truck, grab some of those chickens, start moving them. And yeah, we're just role playing that we're grabbing the food back because I don't feel like losing that much money worth of food. Okay, so we have a decent amount here. Let's select and uh, move to the trailer. Wow, there's 200 here. And move to the trailer. That must be all. Is that all we can do? 42. Wow, this thing holds a lot. That makes it better. 20 there. Move. Can I move 20 more? Oh, we can hold 86. I see it now. All right, those are 86, so we'll get these moved on over. It's nice to have a mod that actually backs up well. Uh, I wish you could just select all of these and just move them really fast, but that's okay. Come over here. 31. 31. And 20. All right, so now we have almost 200 in here. Gonna really start speeding up the egg production on this side and get us to... Gosh, the 2,000 chickens pretty fast, and we won't buy the other one until we have at least, you know, close to 2,000. And I'll see you when this job is done. All right, this should be the last, or it is the last load. We know that for sure. Let's go ahead and jump in here in a little quick. We'll have two roosters. Eh, it's not going to hurt anything. Just gives us one less chicken here, or two less chickens. But that'll do. 41 in this one. So we have 318 in here. All our chickens in one place. Eggs will spawn there. Food's looking at 12,000 liters. So we're gonna go ahead and now, we're gonna go sell that chicken coop, sell the bunker silo, and move a decent amount of grain over here so that we know we have enough food and it looks like we have some barley next month maybe? That's a sorghum? That's not sorghum, it's barley. Where'd I see sorghum? I'm losing my mind. Uh, but if we look over here, our growth state, yeah, that's gonna be a couple months still. We have no harvest for two months? Oh, jeez. All right, we can pull this to the side and find a good spot to park it, I think, on one of these concrete slabs for now. Probably should have stayed over there by the chickens. That's where we're going to live long term. Probably inside that shed, actually. But time to get that sold. And that as well over here. Ugh, do not want. And yeah, we'll do some terraforming design cleanup later on. But let's go ahead and get this reconfigured so we can move some more grain around. Drop the gravity wagon off in here. Loop around, reconfigure it again. And it's a, you know, chicken moving day. Setting us up for some long-term plans. So we're gonna hold on to this cash for a little bit. Might evaluate some of our goods in the silo and sell a little bit. But let's go ahead and get this all reconfigured. All right, so 7,000 liters at a time. I think we'll do about two loads here. Get them a decent amount there and then see what's left in the silo. But two months time before we have more uh, barley and we do have some sorghum okay so let's see what's worth more so we might be selling a little bit today sorghum's prices are definitely higher and at a good place and boy i think we might sell all of that today all right let's grab some of this barley yeah we'll do two loads of this actually let's just, we'll just move all the barley all right so you gotta get this turned on again we go and dumping out the barley one down let's go get some more Let's see, what's that total say in here now? Ah, 20,000. Yeah, I think they're gonna go through. I don't think they'll go through that much a day, but we gotta get more. 
just to be safe. This is a small field. And then we have a larger one a couple months from now. So, yeah. And a little bit left of barley here. Let's get that dropped off. And we'll see where we're at. Hopefully it's around 30,000 liters over here. I wish the productions would show bushels as well, but we can adjust and deal with that. All right, let's take a look here. Yeah, 27,000. That should be good for now. We'll learn next month. We'll see where it's at and go from there. Get that shut. Let's head on in, connect to the gravity wagon and grab some of that sorghum. Let's uh, real quick take a peek at what we need. Did I miss it? Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, do I not have it? Great production. Time out. Okay, talking to ourselves over here. There we go. Okay, well, we were interrupted by my um, lack of preparation for this episode. Let's go ahead and see what the cost is of the slaughterhouse now. 75,000. Okay, that's that's not it. 200, that, okay, we're not getting that today. Okay, so I was hoping to get that today, but uh, that's not happening. All right, back to the gravity wagon. Get all of this sorghum, see where we're at financially. And I guess the rest of this year, the plan is gonna be to progress to be able to get the slaughterhouse because I thought it was $80,000, silly me, it's 200,000. And that's probably for the best because uh, we're moving pretty quick. But we'll see. We might look at a couple crops here in this big field that makes us money, as well as, uh, yeah, the, the two fields that we need to plant. Gotta balance the ability to feed our chickens as well as keep making money. So I don't think we'll fit all of it in this load. So let's see where the best place to sell that was. Sorghum said sell everything. Let's tag it. It is the close one. And let's go sell our 660 bushels that we have. Looks like we did get all of it. That going, switch to the front, get that going. We'll get to some farming really soon in this episode. A lot of logistics we had to take care of though. We bought the world's slowest gravity wagon. Gravity's not working very good in this one. Well, that put us close to 100,000. Oh, it put us at $100,000 with the environmental score bonus. Pretty sweet, so we're halfway there, but we got some expenses that are gonna come up between now and then. But it's good to know. We started pretty low today and ended up at 100,000. So I'm hoping that egg operation picks up for us pretty quick here. Kind of want to take a look over there and see. I think we can do it from here. We look at our animals and oh, look, we have the little baby chicken. We're going to have to go look at those. I forgot we added this mod. Oh, the little baby chicken. All right, so reproduction is what we're kind of looking at here. See if we're gonna get any more soon. Months since last birth, so they're getting there. Uh, nothing really soon. We got some hitting puberty soon, so they'll start producing more eggs for us. Uh, capacity, yeah, so we're at about 27% there. I think that's pretty decent, so let's go ahead and whip around this way. We gotta go look at those chickens, though. The little chicks. All right, let's, let's go inside here and let's see. No babies? Oh, there's one, there's one. Look at it, look at that little chicken. A little baby chick. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's get back to work. Um, you know, we're gonna, we don't wanna waste the money on the, the leasing fees. So we're down to 75,000, but we have no leases, no debt at all. And we need our cedar. We might wanna buy a planter soon because getting into some corn might be a good idea. All right, back on up and hook up here. Good amount. We need to evaluate our fields. I do want to do the big boy here next, but let's go ahead and evaluate our field types again. Uh, so we have wheat and barley. So we got enough food for the chicken soon. And I think this one's sorghum and that one needs planted. Okay, so let's do, uh, we talked about doing something that grows somewhat quick and could turn a decent profit. So let's go ahead and go with oats and we should have the soil samples. So, you know, 45 minutes into a recording session and I'm not sure how far it'll be into the video. We're gonna finally start farming. I guess we've been farming the whole time, but you know what I mean. Let's get this done. Why did, why? Why did that not plant? We have a direct drill and it didn't plant. What? Why? Why in the world? Are we out of seed? Oh, we're out of seed. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that's how you open that one. How do you open the other one? Okay, how did I do that? How did I do that? Oh, they just, they swap. Okay. So now we know how to open things. Apparently Z is a normal button and I threw a hissy fit about it. Oh, that's not where we wanted to go. Let's loop around this way. Oh, we have seed. We don't need to buy seed yet. Let's go ahead and use our seed that we have. Bag of seed here. Pretty strong. All right, let's get in here, fill that up. Oh, that's all we had. Okay. And then this bag here. 
trying to use this stuff before it goes bad. That's not going to... Okay, we'll put that one away. The Helm Pro Solid Fertilizer. I think we might have a little bit over here. I can't remember. But we're good on fertilizer. Oh, yeah, there is some seed. Perfect. Okay. And that'll open up for us since the seed's on the ground. And now if we open this up, we can buy the rest of the seed that we need. Perfect. So $300 there. And go ahead and get that closed. Yeah, the rest of this area will get redesigned and cleaned up in time. And the sawmill is temporary. Once we get all of our facilities in the order we want them, we will be getting rid of that as well. So back to it. Lower it on up. And we should be looking good. Yes. Okay. Silly, silly, silly Chris. Doesn't plant when it runs out of seed. And finished. The mixed uh, texture will go away soon, right? Yeah, I think so. Once it goes through a couple growth stages or the next time we, we plant. But that was because of some of it being plowed and, and some of it just the direct drill. So just about the right amount. So this is looking good. Now I want to work on another field, and let's see, are we going to expand that one? Let's drive over there and look at our property line. Let's head to the front and see if we can find that other part. Field's not bad size as is. Wonder if we expand it to here. Let's look back. Yeah, we should be okay. Where is the where's the crate at? Did we not put one out here? But uh, maybe we didn't. All right, let's uh, top into this mode so we can see a little bit better. Oh, maybe we just let's uh, turn. Oh, I'm getting confused. Let's go this way and go straight. Raise up a little bit, and it should be about right here. So if we go back this way, our property line cuts through that forest a little bit. Hmm, interesting. And then if we turn this way, up roughly about right here is our property line. We could expand that. That would help us make a little bit more profit. So yeah, let's get the plow. And we will not get this field planted today. We're going to have to get it plowed. We're going to have to treat it with lime and... We'll get that planted next episode, but we got a lot to do still. The the new field out in the distance that used to be grass needs sprayed with weeds, I believe. Or did we do that last time? We might have done that last time. Let's drive by it. Oh, yeah. Got that sprayed for weeds already. So prepping this one, we'll plant it next month, and we might look into some other options for silage, too just to make good old Chris happy. Okay, so let's go ahead and allow fields and we'll go ahead and lower right about here. Oh, uh, that's not the right button. There we go, lower. And we'll come in a little bit more this way towards this tree. Again, we're gonna try to respect, uh, it's a little too fast. We'll try to respect our layout here with trees already. And we'll hug these ones, but not too close because we've learned our lesson. The one to our right, well, we'll have to get rid of that tree. And I'm hoping the invisible things we're running into last episode are gone. That was very bizarre. So if we cut this way a little bit more, let's go ahead and straighten it out because I think I do want one more field between here and that new forest. And we'll go ahead and go straight here. Start angling in towards this field now. And a lot of room back there to figure out what to do in the back side of this as well. And I do want to start getting these fields uh, in course play correctly uh, with some names and stuff. So let's go ahead and stop right there and see if we can do that once it updates. So it's been a little bit, but I think if we go into, oh, which one is it? Which one is it? Is it this one? How do we create a map? Do I forget? Oh, maybe we have to be out of the tractor. Yeah, draw a custom field. Okay, so I believe we just, yeah, it says right there, right click. So we'll start in this corner, come around like that. Let's try to do this as good as we can. Pretty good, like that, like so, should connect it. We'll save that, and CP1, what do we wanna name this? Let's edit this. Oh, look at that. What is happening here? Wow, move waypoints. I don't, I don't know exactly how to do that, but I wanna learn. I want to learn. Let's get out of that menu. Uh, back into it. That's pretty sweet. So let's go here. Rename. Uh, we're going to call this. Uh, we're going to go to random name generator. Random field name generator. Is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing. Grassland names. Let's see. Oh, those are a little silly. I don't know. I'm not creative with names. We're going to call this uh, East Lot. I don't know. Let me know if you have any better names. So let's go in here. Now we should be able to clear this. 
and go yeah, two headlands on the E slot and generate. And it should generate the whole thing if it's if it's not gonna crash on us. Some kind of an interesting thing there. Let's see what this does. I, I, I will probably finish plowing this myself, but I'm kind of interested to see what happens here. I'm gonna put it at the top speed on course play just because I wanna I wanna kinda learn here what's gonna happen. So far so good. Okay, not sure what it's doing. Let's hop out and watch it, but we're gonna go ahead and get this tree out of the way. That's a pretty decent size one, so this will get us a few more things of a few more fences, fence posts. And it's like it turned around to go ahead and do this one. Let's hop in with them. I think we didn't get all the way to the left when we drew that field, and that's why they're starting right here. A little swirly, I think because we haven't going too fast, but this is all experimental for me. I have done this a long time ago, but I was trying to remember if you could plow a custom field, and I wish I would have remembered this during Cattle Ranch. It would have saved me so much time. Oh, not sure about that turn. Interesting course we got here. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Where are you going now? Okay, I guess we can live with that. Didn't want to get that close to the trees, but you're doing it for us. Seems like a plow struggling a little bit at this speed. You know what? The east lot is on the west side of that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and rename that. We'll, we'll rename this uh, Northwest. If I could get the right letter here. There we go. Let's call that Northwest. Because that is North. Yeah, Northwest here. But this would be Southwest and Central. You know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I think we can call that experiment somewhat successful. I don't know exactly what they're going to do. But we're going to go ahead and finish plowing this ourselves. Get it done a lot faster. Is it recommending 14? Okay, so let's go ahead and cruise it down to 14. And another job done. Let's go ahead. Oh yeah, we're doing the, the soil sample for free. I was gonna say, let's get that purchased, but we'll get that done next episode when we start laying down some lime here. Northwest is looking pretty good. Pretty good size here. I think that's about like these last two fields that we've made bigger. I think that's about the size we're gonna wanna go with. and. Kind of talked last episode about potentially upgrading some equipment soon and i think the harvester is definitely on the list for that and we might look at a planter not 100 percent sure yet but that's all the time we have for this episode pretty productive uh logistics episode and got a little bit of field work done we'll have to treat some weeds as well as get this other field all prepped for for getting planted here next episode. We are finally back on old school. It's been a little bit, I took a little bit of a break. I was getting a little frustrated with some of the implements that we we're using and realized I just needed to take a little bit of time away. So we're gonna take the truck and we're gonna go check on the chickens to start the day. Don't need that with us. Let's try to not run into our field and we do need to make some roads too. We need to get that done pretty soon. So let's head up over to the new chicken coop and kind of evaluate where the road should go. Ah, I'm just not sure. It's probably gonna need to cut through this way, through this grass field, and that would be good. We also talked about getting a forklift. So we come over here, we have 40, we have 22,000 liters here and almost a full pallet. So we'll let that keep growing and that's good. We're starting to see good production out of them. Who left the door open? Look at our little chicklets. Oh, are they all little? Couple roosters. Oh, there's some mamas. There we go. But I think the way it's working right now, we probably have so many babies in here. Let's take a look. Yeah, 31 babies, 41 babies there. Yeah, does it show our total? It's too bad. I don't want to call oh, 52. What? 500? Did I buy all these and forget? I'm losing my mind. Well, we're gonna have to go back to the last tape. I forgot we added this mod. Oh, the little baby chicken. All right, so reproduction's what we're kind of looking at here. Let's see if we're gonna get any more soon. Months since last birth, so they're getting there. Uh, nothing really. I don't know. It must be this mod. I oh, that's we're gonna run out of food if we have that many mouths to feed. We have 1,300 chickens in here? Oh, that's weird and a dilemma. That's okay. Maybe I honestly, I wish that was me that did that. I didn't do that. It must, that's, what a, what a strange playthrough. What a strange playthrough. Okay, so some of our crops are not ready. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Uh, let's see, that does not take oats so that was the idea there so let's look at our let's look at our crops now 
Oh man. All right, so we have oats here, but we don't we don't need that. That's going to be for just money. We have barley in two fields. We have wheat in that field, and we have sorghum. We did have sorghum. What is here? Nothing is plant. Oh, that's grass. So this new big field, um, we're going to have to go with. Uh, I think we're going to plant. We got barley. We got wheat. We're going to do some more wheat. And I think we need to get going on that, like ASAP. All right, let's go evaluate that field and see what we need to do on it. Because it has been a little bit. I'm thinking we need to lay down some lime. And then after that, we'll get it planted. But we got a month. Is it two months? Okay, we'll get a little bit of barley next month. Not a lot. So yeah, pH is looking good, but it's good over here. No data over here. So we need to get that field data, which we've been we've been paying ourselves back for, which is what we decided to do on this playthrough. So 6,300, we're gonna add back into the account. If we remember, we didn't wanna use precision farming on this playthrough, but the fertilizer was problematic on this map. Something to do with the way the map was created and set up. So we will grab probably the John Deere and the spreader, get enough lime into that and get going today. There's the John Deere, there's the spreader. All right, we're completely empty here. I don't think maybe we have some lime over here. Let's just double check. I mean, we have a little bit of cash and I don't even remember where that cash came from. So uh, I'm confused at this point. All right, we have about one point. Oh no, it dropped it in there. Okay. No, none got in, okay. Let's get this closer. We're gonna need to get those good forklifts that I want to today. We do have the cash. What do we have in leases? Nothing, okay, we did get that all taken care of last episode, didn't we? Okay, so we have this open. We should be able to drive over to our lime setup and get this filled up. It's a decent sized field that's never been treated for lime before. I have a feeling we're gonna need all of it. So let's go ahead and just buy a good amount of lime here and watch our money go away. And I think we're gonna get the rest of our fences pretty soon. Yeah, $2,800 in lime and I'm hoping that that's all we need. But let's go ahead and head over here and we'll do a headland. We'll see on the new area how it's handling it. Oh yeah, this thing's super wide. So 1.75 tons up to two, oh, 3.5 now. And I think that's gonna change right here, probably drop down a little bit less. Yeah, 2.63 to 1.75 tons per hectare down to 0.88 or 0.88. So a good variety of uh, the amount of lime it needs here. And gosh, I love the width of this spreader. It makes this job so much easier and enjoyable. Just cruising around on the steering wheel. Missed a little bit there, but That'll be okay. Use about 10% at this point, but it seems to be stabilizing the amount that it was using and not that large amount like it was for a little bit. That must be where it was clay, but looking good here. Yeah, let's get this done. Barely went through 25% of it, so we'll keep it all in the hopper here. This is the only thing that we should be using this spreader for, so no problem with keeping the product in there. Spent a little bit more money than we needed to today, but it'll be fine. It will be fine. Nine o'clock still. We got a lot of time left. Probably should change the sky because it looks it looks a little doom and gloom out. Let's park this and do that. Let's get a more happy sky going. It looks like that matched my personality or my mood. Maybe both <laughs> uh, last episode. Can I fit through here? Why would I even try? Yeah, that worked. I'm in a goofy mood today. This is good to be back on here. Feeling a little goofy, having fun. 
Just hit 2,000 subscribers on the Socks Way Up channel. Super excited about that. All right, let's jump out here and go take a look at our sign. And we'll go ahead and sell that one. It should be right there, yeah. And let's get a let's get a better sky out here today. Let's jump into this mode and we'll click on this sign here. Get that to go away. Take a look at default sky. It's pretty. Decorations others. Let's see if we can find a good one tonight today. A little gloomy, still somewhat gloomy. And that's pretty. All right, let's see. Bright, just a bright sky. This is a stormy one. Um, gosh, I love this mod. You can play around with this forever. Oh, this is, oh, that's gorgeous. Right there. Sun is right there. Yeah, let's do that. All right, same tractor. We'll do that. We'll jump on this. We'll get in the cedar here. And I already forgot. We said wheat, right? Because we really got to focus on the products for the chickens and we have a decent sized barley one and we just put sorghum so we don't want to put the same crop down on that field so let's change this to wheat and we'll hit this button to open that up and go fill it up just handling one field at a time here all right let's go ahead and fill this up spend a little bit of cash and then we'll have to switch and open the back for the fertilizer fertilizer's on the other side isn't it 480 dollars in seed and then this is our fertilizer and yeah 800 bucks sounds about right go ahead and close it now there we go everybody please ignore the fact that i just ran over the puppy all right let's see this one i do want to use our speed override on so 18 miles an hour is what it's going to recommend which is kind of crazy and high, but we're gonna do that. We just have to lower this implement and uh, something weird there. Get all the way to the edge here. And we missed a little bit there. Trees are in the way. There we go. Let's hit cruise control. I don't think I wanna go 18. I think that's a little too fast. Let's drop it down to about 13. Let's see how that feels. That's still a little like speed racer going on here. Oh, uh, we could use this for some some posts. Move that out of the way. Oh, I can pick that up without super strength. Really? Yeah, I can. Nice. All right, let's get that there. And you, my friend, are gone. But why is it still there? Is there two trees there, Brendan? Oh, did you guys just witness that? Where'd the tree go? Oh, that's voodoo. That's... I'm not okay with that. That was creepy. The tree is still... Okay, there was two trees. Whew. Okay. Got a little scared there. That was a little strange. All right, now let's see. Let's see if, if we can get our cruise control enabled and see if cruising at 13 feels a little too fast. It feels fast. Still feels fast. I don't think that suggested speed is very accurate on that. Let's lower it to about 11. That feels much better. All right, let's... uh. Let's get this all planted. Some wheat in the ground. I'm a little worried about all of those chickens over there gonna run through our food today. So I think this afternoon, we're gonna have to take a peek over there and see how we're doing food wise, cause we might have to go buy some chicken feed. That's, uh, it's concerning.
All right, well, this got pretty far ways with uh, one full load here. So we're going to finish this pass and we're going to lift and go refill. And I thought I'd spend a little bit of time talking about the latest community poll that we had on the community channel, the community tab of the, of the YouTube channel, where we're asking about a new map to start just a straight up Let's Play series. And the winner was a Brazilian map that we do a coffee empire on. So we will be getting that started soon. I do like the idea of grabbing the rest of those maps that were suggested and eventually doing series on those as well. But I want to get just a, you know, a, a basic old Let's Play series going where we do have a goal in mind, but a little less um, gimmicky, I guess, is what I'm looking for. I don't want to say gimmicky, but goal oriented or, you know, it still will have a goal of uh, becoming a coffee empire, but I wanted to do a more traditional let's play where I, I worry less about role playing and rules and just play the game as is with the mods that we have installed. And I, I want to get a variety of types of series going to see what the community and what I like the best. You know, these these rags to riches or start from scratch series sometimes get a little exhausting and they feel like they're the same content over and over and over again. So where I wanted to do just a, a let's play that was a little less start from scratch. We're not gonna have a ton of equipment. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna play around with a couple of the settings of the amount of equipment we have to start, like the bare minimums just to allow us to create some fields and have to learn a little bit about the coffee mod. I know that's a little bit of an OP mod from what I understand where you can make a lot of money pretty fast with it. So we'll, we'll make some goals in mind to keep it fun. Uh, so yeah. Hopefully that made some sense and I'm glad everyone participated in that. We got a good response on it. We also talked about streaming, creating a map and I'm kind of holding off to see if we're gonna get an announcement in the next few months about uh, FS25. If we don't hear about that by the beginning of summer, I think at that point I am gonna go ahead and tackle the map. If we do hear about an FS25, I am gonna hold off and create that map for FS25. And then at that point, I would want to focus on trying to get that available to console and PC, where if I do it for FS22, I'm just going to focus on getting it available for PC because of basically the life cycle of the game. And I've never engaged with Giants to know their process on, on getting maps available to the general public via Mod Hub. So there's a lot of learning that's going to have to go on with that and, and a lot of learning on how to create the maps and just kind of wanted to loop back and explain what's going on with some of those posts that I made. Our largest field to date on old school is planted with wheat. Very, very exciting. And it's been a few hours. I think we're gonna go ahead and check on what's going on with the chickens. I do need to see what needs weeds treatment. I don't think there's anything. Did we plant last episode? This is the problem with taking a break. When you're doing so many series, I got so much content that we're putting out for you guys. You're not seeing a lot of it now, but it's a lot going on in the background. So it gets my mind a little fuzzy. But you know what? Let's move this over here. Let's do some maintenance on it. We'll get it cleaned up if it fits. Yes, it will. So we'll get that cleaned up here later today. Stop there. Get back in the truck. Head on over to the coop again. All right. It's been a couple hours. I think we're at 22,000. We're at 21. Okay. It's moving. This is moving too. We might get a full pallet by the end of the day. Can we go anywhere here? No, those are just power boxes. But I am so confused at the amount of animals we have in here. It was not me. We'll see what the numbers look like tomorrow, but good, good goodness, I'm confused. All right, so we are going to have to take care of those pallets and don't want to over abuse super strength. So let's head into town. Oh, let's check on weeds first. Let's check on weeds first. We are going to use this few. All right, let's see. Weed control. We do have one. All right, let's go ahead and see about that. Yeah, I might get an employee to help out with that. Yeah, let's go grab the Comfort King. We're going to grab the Comfort King and the sprayer and hook that up with an employee or a helper. And I thought I saw... Oh, no, no, it's on the Oliver. Let's go ahead and use the Oliver for that then. The old dirty Oliver. And it looks like it's full because we did this last time where we're purchasing the herbicide while the 
course play worker takes care of the field for us. So let's go ahead and start saving these. Let's create this one is going to be the north east. Is it northeast? Let's look southwest. All right. If we go in, uh, which one was it? I think I have to get out of the vehicle if I remember right. And then we can come over here and draw a custom field and right click like so. And if we start using this, it should help long term. The first time it might miss a little bit because we're going a little bit past the boundaries, but that should connect it. We'll hit save. And then we're going to come in here and edit the name. Oh, no, that's not what we want to do. We did that last time and discovered that rename to South because we're not very good at naming things. We'll just call that Southwest. We have Northwest and then we'll have like North Central or North South and you know, you see, you see the pattern, but then we can come in here, get right there. We'll go no course two headlands. Why not generate it real nice and we'll get them going on that. But we're also going to come in here and try to save that as well. So we'll create a folder called Southwest. Click on the folder and we will save course, activate it, weed, spraying. So that is now saved that we'll be able to just load up that course and have the worker help us out. And you can see money is decreasing pretty fast using the product. I think they're filling up the gas too. I don't remember, but let's head into town. I want to look at a few items that they have at the store that may help us in the future. While we have $68,000, I do know we're trying to save up for 200,000 for the slaughterhouse, but that will come with time. You know what? Does this feel bigger? I think the Northwest field might be a little bit bigger than the Southwest field. So I might've said something incorrect earlier. If the Southwest field's a little bigger, I, I don't know. All right, let's take a look in here and see what we have to buy that we were, we were, we're looking for a few things. Forklifts. This super cool board forklift we are buying. Well, I guess the first thing we'd be doing is moving these strawberries with this. So I've heard rumors that this forklift is amazing to use, that the pallets don't get stuck to it, that Yosho and Nate use it on one of their series. And let's see about this. I mean, that seems pretty awesome so far. Is there any more to spawn? I don't know if there is any more to spawn. No, there's not, okay. So then we would probably, you know, back up, swing this way. Didn't line up very good. Let's be perfectionists here. Okay, that's straight. That's pretty good. Okay, I can't see. I can't see the distance. Let's go this way. Not bad. We didn't line up too terrible there. Actually, pretty good. All right. And back up. That's pretty nice. All right, let's get the truck over here so we can load these up. And then we'll go get the one thing of eggs just to get some practice in. Still got the gravity wagon on here. Loop around, get this reconfigured for us. And just like that's what we're looking for. We go and we will pull up just like this. Yeah, this mod's pretty nice to use. I found this on itch, itch.io. And we push them all the way forward if we can, about right there. And we'll back out. Raise this up and just scoot them over just a hair. To about right there. Amazing that something that's not base game is performing better than some of the base game ones. So we'll drop that right there. Should be loose. Look at that, just slides right out. Doesn't get stuck at all. Yeah, after this recording session, I'm gonna go on a little mod hunt for a nice trailer that we can move this around on because five miles an hour here, it's taking forever just to get from where the garden is to over here. I guess we could move the garden over here eventually make a bigger one maybe maybe that's a thing we do now i had some worries that this isn't gonna actually fit in here and let's see is it gonna fit oh no oh no even if we do this it's like stuck right now oh we had a hold of it go this way come on that's not gonna work and this roof's too short in here like if we do this now we're just stuck in here 
Raise that just a hair. Oh yeah, the height of this thing's just gonna screw us over because of these walls. So we can drop it there. But I mean, we do we get the truck close enough and this thing just lives in here? Nope, because we wouldn't even be able to raise it at all. Oh man. What a ruined idea. All right, let's get this truck going. Yeah, let's go ahead and close that for now. Yeah, we're uh, just under 21,000. I just saw that. Just under 21,000 liters of food left. It's going to be real telling in the morning, though, how we're doing. All right, let's head to the grocery store for the supermarket and get these goods sold. Looks like our helper's close to being done there for us. That's exciting. Oh, and they just finished their job. Perfect. Perfect timing. Let's go ahead and get these all sold. And our course play notification's in the way, but we made just over $9,000 there. And I think that's all we have to do today. So we'll clean up and have an early, early exit to the day here. The episode's not over yet, though. It's kind of turned into a parking lot here. Let's double check everything believe we can go in here and see all our weeds should be all taken care of yeah weeds are good um we're not doing any of that stuff growth stages are on all of these let's uh why is grass not showing up that's weird why this is showing up that color and not as grass I don't know. That's really confusing me. But we do have looks like this field will be ready next month and then the month after that that will be ready. So let's get, yeah, get stuff put away. We have everything done. We need to do fertilizer is all taken care of when we plant, so we don't need to take care of that. So let's go ahead and do what we said we we're going to do and get these all cleaned up. All this dirt off of this cedar here. At some point, we might want to buy a second one because I believe these can connect and you can put multiples together and we can get our jobs done even faster that way. But that'll be in the future. We did want to save up for a bigger harvester as well, potentially. So just some things to think about. All right, that's looking real nice. The 4840 is looking pretty. Same with the Case 5100 here. Go ahead and put it back in its home. Turn that a little bit more, a little too much there. And we'll crank it this way, see if we can correct that. Nope. Chris can't back up. Chris can't back up. Jackknifed a little bit there. But this is one implement that can, you can recover if you start jackknifing it, which I do appreciate about it. That'll do there. We'll just loop around this way and park the John Deere in here for the night. And we got to go get the Oliver. Now, the Oliver was filthy. We're going to get that cleaned up as well. This one's getting low on fuel. We're going to have to get something here for that as well soon. Get this all cleaned up. And we'll let the Oliver be in the pass-through for now. It's, it's not too wide. We can fit most vehicles through there. So we just hit the... Yeah, let's hit that on there. All right. We're going to go take a little nappy nap, and I'll see you in August. Let's feed the dog first. Ursula, you're where you're going. There you go. All right. All right. Let's go take a look at this field that we're going to harvest. And while we're in the area, we'll go check on the food for the good old chickens. So we will have a little bit to give them today. So all of this is going to have to go over there. We're not going to make any money off of this. And I do know that oat field was to make money. Could cut the grass to make some cash if, if money becomes a problem. 11,000. Okay, so they went through about 10,000 in one day and now we have 1935 what is up with this mod okay way too much reproduction going on here allow overcrowding prevent over i don't know which one is activated it seems like we have overcrowding what did this hold so i know we bought this for a reason i honestly guys i did not know it was going to do this 2000 so we're almost at capacity if it gets above 2000 we know we hit that button restrict automatic reproduction Okay, so we could stop that at some point as well. Okay, and a, over a thousand eggs. Uh, this is gonna go crazy once once all those chickens, yeah, once all those chickens are adults. Whew, it's gonna go crazy in here. Yeah, we'll leave that there for now. All right, well, we're gonna get our worker, our helper on spraying the weeds on the Northwest field. And we're gonna come here and harvest the South field. And that's the plan for August. We might actually turn this field completely over into a new field this episode as well. And let's take a look. Yeah, so we'll have the other barley next month and then wheat a couple months after that. It looks like the oats will be first though. All right, let's get an Oliver. Really nice to just jump in here and clear the course and come in here and load it. But uh, we don't have that set up yet. So we'll get it set up here 
with this one. While I'm thinking about that though, and this one looks super old school. All right, so that should do the trick. And I believe this is one that we don't have to fill up, that we just get charged. Am I wrong? I'm wrong. Okay, so it should have nothing in it. It's empty. Okay, so let's look in here. Let's shut this off. Okay, okay, okay. We don't have anything old school for this though, do we? Forge blower, that's cool. All right, we're gonna take a look. I'm gonna take a look-see. We'll be back. What's this not working for? Oh, the things I leave in videos, you guys. My internet's working. Did my VPN kick on again that's blocking this? I don't see it. One way to find out is to go here and see if servers show up. Servers show up, so why is that? So let's just, we're gonna quit. We're gonna come back in. All right, we're loading in, loading into old school. Scrolling through our mods here. The Lizard HL tank is what we're going to add to the mod list. Let's get in, we'll get it purchased. And that should help us fill up our fuel tank. I think we have anything. All right, we are in the store. If we go into our trailers here, now that I can't, why can't I find them? What's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Right there, miscellaneous. It should be all the way over here. Yeah, so we have this one that holds 2.3 tons. No, 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 1,300 gallons. I think we can go with the cheapest model here. It should be plenty. And let's see if it'll hook up to our truck that we brought over here. Probably not. Probably gonna have to get another truck over here or, or a tractor, but we will try. It does work. Okay, and then we're gonna go pretend like we're buying fuel because we never got a gas station that worked. This gas station does not work. Shoo, let's, uh, let's hop in here. Let's see if we can fix this real quick. Containers, what is this? It holds, it holds. I don't think we have anything that just works for that. Bio, refuel, methanol, tractors. And is that just, I don't understand the term. We're gonna give ourselves this five grand back. Is this like, yeah, this isn't the right thing either. We go in here and we find this and we fill it up like that's not working either. Oh joy. Um, oh, this is what we want. No shot. Is that what it said? Am I a complete doofus? It says it can hold fuel. So why can't I load it? Diesel empty and it's not, that's just the freaking fuel level. Yeah, yeah, that's, but what about this won't allow me to do fuel. Oh, we're not getting frustrated today. We're just gonna fight through it. We'll see if one of these other ones actually works. These other ones aren't gonna work. They're not gonna be any different. I'm not even gonna try. We're, we're just, we're just gonna deal with this right here and we're getting it at a discount. We're gonna give ourselves back 28,000 because um, I'm the creator of this series and I'm gonna do what I want. And let's see if it's just something where easy dev isn't working here. Diesel set to that and look at that, it's full. Hey, this mod actually works. Okay, we'll head back. We'll put as much as we can in there. We'll deduct. Let's just say $1,500 for whatever fits, and then we're gonna just um, keep this around and put, every time we need to fill up that tank, we'll just deduct $1,500. It's like this thing doesn't even exist. That's how we're gonna play it. Boy, oh boy, it's been a day. It's been a day. All right, are we close enough? Uh, I un unload diesel. Boy, that takes a little minute. What does this hold, 75 gallons or something? I forget. Oh no, a good amount. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how many gallons it takes and then I'll, We'll decide at that point how much this is going to cost us. We can do $5 a gallon, I guess. But while that's going, we can come over here and go ahead and refill this up. We'll let that finish. We'll come back to that. Try out mods before recording sessions. Y'all would love if I actually did that probably, wouldn't you? All right, let's go here. We'll do the same exact setup and then we will let them get started. Do the same thing. Come in here. We'll make a new folder. This is going to be called Northwest. And we'll activate that and we'll save course, activate it as weed sprayer. And now we have two different weed, oh, weed spraying and sprayer, I guess, uh, got, that works. And what does that tell me? 27 minutes, I think it said. All right, we got some time to kill and this is still going. So 2,500 bucks so far. All right, we're going to do 45 or $5,000, remove 5,000. That's what it's going to cost us because I guess that just used all of it. So it could hold more, but we're gonna, that's what we're gonna charge ourselves. And this is going to live right there. Pretend that's not there. All right, let's go get you reconfigured. No, you're just going to pull the gravity wagon because, oh no, we're just gonna reconfigure you. 
Gravity wagon's not gonna work to, s to feed the chickens. There we go. And we'll go ahead and get this in place over here, like so, and head on over and get the harvester all prepped and ready to go. Oh, I think we said we were gonna do corn over there last time. We're we didn't. We didn't do that. Oh, look at this thing hiding. Yeah, that's a good amount of money right there. We'll put that right there so we don't forget it's there. Finally time to harvest. And really depending on how this works is gonna determine if I'm going to replant this this episode. I think we need to save some content for the next month. So I guess we have the straw we could pick up. I'm not even gonna do the straw. Let's just do it this way. I might add in the mod that helps with fertilizer when you do this. We could use a little bit of extra cash, but I think we're good. Got this magical blocked by an object issue again. Just not sure what that object is that you're blocked by. So confusing. All right, we're almost done with the harvest here. Or not the harvest, but getting one full truck worth of barley from the harvest. And at that point, we will take a look at how much that gives us, because we know, we I don't know the calculation of bushels to liters when it comes to dropping it off at the chicken coop. So we're going to fill up this hopper one more time. That'll fill up the grain truck. And then we'll take it on over and see what one grain truck gives us and see if we're going to be able to get through a couple more days without harvesting anything that chickens eat. And keeping in mind, there's more chickens over there than there was yesterday. So they're going to go through more than 10 thousand liters we got ourselves in a in a pickle all right and we are full so we'll just loop around here and empty here and this should be exactly 100 percent if i remember right between these two because we were at 50 yeah it should be just about all right 198.5 bushels of barley let's head on over and see what this gives us long drive over here isn't it We'll loop around and get prepped for this. Great demand at the supermarket. I think we can stop about right there and be safe. And then let's get this opened up here. Yep, there it goes and unload the barley. And we knew we were at about 11,000 or 10,000. Let's see where this gets us. I wanna see, oh no, that's not gonna be enough. All right, let's go ahead and finish this harvest and it'll be interesting um, to see when we run out of food. I'm guessing October is gonna be, the, yeah, is gonna be the day. So let's get this harvest done and we'll be optimistic. We'll be okay. All right, no reason to unload this twice. Let's see if we can just drop this off over here. Let's see if we can sneak up at the right angle or if it respects this at all. Now I've noticed some weird things with some of these mods. It does work, perfect. All right, so that's gonna take a little bit of time. And we're sitting at 17, so if we can get back above 20, which I don't think we're going to, that would be nice. Well, let's just hope these, uh, these babies don't eat a lot. Because, oh boy, do we have a lot of babies in there. All right, 19,827. Oh, let's go ahead and get that closed. That's unfortunate, but we have some larger fields that will be ready in a couple months. I don't think it makes sense to really rush this field today. We'll do that next episode. Boy, I wish they could eat hay, because that would be helpful right now. All right, let's go check on our sprayer. See how our employees doing if they got stuck again. They're still taking our money, so I assume they're still working. Yeah, just a couple more passes, it looks. And these weeds will be all done. Very nice. Three more minutes. And that's all we have to do. Let's yeah, just check this again. I think the oats are ready next month. So what we could do is with the oats that are right here... That should be the dark green. No, it's not. Oh, we'll get more barley. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. So if this barley gets us two months or, or to this harvest, we're good. And then it'll get to this harvest. We might be okay. We might be okay, but this one being oats down here is what's going to hurt us. Because that's not going to be any feed. So we'll see. We need some more fields. We might... Uh, Regret this one over here is soybeans, isn't it? Man, it's a lot of money we'll make off of this harvest. 
No, this is wheat too? I'm crazy. I'm losing my mind. We don't have soybeans anywhere. I think we're looking good. I think we'll get all of this settled real nice. Yeah, let me know what you think about doing two months in one episode a little bit longer. I think a lot of people will enjoy that. And that allows me to get back on schedule after missing a couple weeks of this. Of when I wanted the, you know, the second year supercut to come out for everybody that enjoys watching that way. So... I was so interested to see how many chickens we had this morning that I decided to record this episode a little earlier than I originally planned. Anybody see my truck? Oh, there it is. All right, let's just run over there. We're already halfway here. And also all the comments about this tractor being able to go 18 miles an hour backwards, because look at it, it's just a tractor backwards. It'd be really sweet if I could detach the forks, but look at this. Oh, it's uphill. That's why I was struggling, making a liar out of me. There we go. Nice. All right, let's 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 stop. All right, it is September. Got way ahead of myself at the beginning there. I don't usually start things that way. Look at this. Okay, that's that's good. And I see that we are at two thousand, and we have five thousand food. Okay, and let's take a look. So we have all kinds of different numbers now. It was a bunch of five hundreds. What what happened? Um. 31, like they're aging differently? Oh, cause they're male, female, okay. Interesting, oh, there's our big 500. There it is, and there's the other one. Okay, so now, veterinarian reaper deduct. Oh my goodness, there's some weird things in here. That's some pretty cool stuff. All right, 5,000 liters of food. We are maxed out, but I don't think the babies are eating as much as the adults do, so. What do we have on the horizon for farm work today? Ready to harvest in here? Because that's why we can't see it, right? That way. There we go. Okay. Okay, dokie. So we got a pl uh, we got a, all of this to take care of, and a lot more. Okay. Water. How's water? Water is getting close. Okay, dokie. Doing a little inventory here. So this field needs to get flipped today. And that field needs to get harvested. Let's go see what we can get. Or the chicks for food. We're going to be playing nothing but chicken food for a while. And we might want to look at... Uh, we might want to discuss the expansion of buying more property. Because we're running out of room for putting new fields. So going to be a struggle to keep up with feeding these chickens. So let's go ahead and get this harvest going. Looks like it is yellow around here. And again, we're not going to worry about the straw because... Ah, oh, this field's... Actually, this field's pretty decent size. Let's go ahead. That's some money we can make off of that. Um, that's, uh... Comma. There we go. Start dropping the straw, and then we can use our rake and windrow it up to... Nice windrow so we can pick it up a lot easier. And we might look into a better rake at this point, too. All right, let's get this harvest done. Gamepad. Oh, how do we do this? Forget how to do this. There's a place where you can change the dead zones. I've been showing you guys everything these days. Is it in the gamepad? Oh, I just forget where this is at. Switch device, there we go. Okay, dead zone 14% is insane. Okay, I'll go to one. Not sure what this one's for. This one, I'll break as well. Yeah, all this stuff's been, I don't use a clutch. But apply that. I don't I don't know why that keeps getting reset. Back in the game. Much better with the dead zone. Okay. Oh, so. All right, 537 bushels an acre. That seems like a good amount. If you remember right from last time we harvested this, we do just about get a headland. Uh, maybe not. I was going to say, we get about a headland before we unload. And yeah, it does seem to be that way because we're still at about 60% now. So we'll at least get back over there. Yeah, full headland already jumping into kind of the next one and then we hit 100 percent awesome all right let's see what do we want yeah let's just do this because feeding the feeding the chickens directly you know while this is unloading i do want to check oh let's see here real quick oh that's still barely yeah that they don't produce much i do want to check the used market and make it a habit of that i've been doing that in the maze challenge and finding it pretty rewarding and fun and i kind of I kind of spaced out in all of this RP world we've been in over the last, you know, six months or so of just playing the game. And we, we have rules already in these playthroughs, so let's still, just, let's still just play the game. So it'd have to be an old piece of equipment like this that we don't have. 66% off. What is... Oh, no, no, no. Was there combinations? So this is part of the John Deere 43 series. Um, let's see. John Deere 43. I don't... Let's see. 
we can find the harvester. Because I'm wondering if it goes with these and not the one we have. I don't know. But also, kind of looking forward to doing a nice upgrade, probably to this bad boy eventually. And the combinations here, yeah, they're pretty sweet. And they don't, they're not very expensive either. But, okay, we got sidetracked and we didn't even unload. Drove a little too far forward. There we go. 20 months. We do have some 20-month-old chickens in here that, yeah, we got a, we got a few months to try to get that 200,000 so that we can buy that slaughterhouse and move them over when they're 24 months. That's the plan. So we should get a full load here, so uh, we'll drop that off at the chicken coop and see how we're doing. And we got to remember how many liters. How many? Yeah, we can go in this way and see. Uh, 7,000 liters per truckload. So we're wanting, gosh, a, a few. We need like four truckloads out of this, and I just, I don't see it out here. I don't see it out here. Let's look at the, again, I got to re remind myself. So oats, I believe, is ready to harvest next month, and then it will be the wheat over here. That field's tiny. All right. All right, let's shut off the harvester, save some gas, diesel, and lost my mouse. What just happened? That's strange. I've never had that happen. Okay, here we go. All right, all backed up there. Let's go in here and open up the feed tray and get this unloaded. And we should go from 4,200. Oh my goodness, they're eating so much so fast. Oh, man. Yeah, so four would be 2,800. That's probably about what we want. So three more truckloads, fingers crossed. All right, get back to this harvest get this done and then on to probably pick up the straw while we have a worker help us on getting the other field prepped. I want to make some decisions over there while I'm done after I'm done harvesting since I want to have a you know a fresh mind that I can focus on it. All right another almost 200 bushels or 7,000 liters depends on who you ask getting dropped off at the chicken coop and this should put us close to what, 18,000? But another hour's pass, so probably 17,000. I think we're gonna, we're gonna have to do something to save these chickens. Yeah, 17,000, okay. Yep. So, hopefully at least two more of those would be nice. That would put us, you know, what, 24, about 30,000 liters? I don't think that'll get us two months, though. Well, we need a month and a month and a half, really, right? To get to that harvest. I think we have maybe one more truckload left in this field. So it's going to be close. It's not going to get us two months, and that's what we need. So I've been debating about making a new field or extending one of our existing ones. And I think my mind's made up for me to not necessarily worry about that. So I'm going to get this out here and prepped. We're going to extend probably next month when we have nothing to plant. So I'll go ahead and get this somewhat started here. And then we'll have to jump over and help relieve the harvester. Yeah, I want to get those roads established too, because that would help me design out a little bit more of the fields and extend them. The size of fields we have right now is definitely not going to work for the chicken coop. So we need to really progress forward on that and, and get more cropland going. Can't feed the chickens with grass. Tank's 80% full. Okay, look at this finish and then we'll hop over there. And potentially, I don't know if we'll get, well, I think I want to plant these myself. All right, that's all done. We'll go ahead and put this away and get back and help the harvest. And they're going the wrong way. They're going the wrong way. All right, we are 100% full. Stopped a little abruptly there. We'll go ahead and shut that all off. Got to help finish this harvest and then we'll go sell some straw, pick up the rest of it. Yeah. At least the money from the straw will help if we have to buy some chicken feed next month. Well, the harvest is just about complete. Just have to go unload this and then get what's left in the harvester. And then we'll see what kind of food we have. Definitely think the conclusion here is not enough. Well, just 16 more bushels. So let's go get our grand total. Probably should wait for this rain to clear up to finish our work for the day anyways. Yeah, after we drop this off, it seems like it's a good time for a lunch break. 24,000. That's not going to cut it. We're going to do about this rain. Okay, let's check the forecast. It looks like until... Wow, all right. We're going to take a little break, see? We'll be back at 3 o'clock to try to get a lot of work done. All right, still a lot to do today. The rain is cleared up. Let's go ahead and what do we need to do? Get the bales sold, finish baling, lime this field, 
plant both fields. Yeah, quite a bit to do here in September still. And a little, little interesting little dance we're doing here. Um, yeah. Got a bale just chilling up there. I think it's going to stay. Let's see if we can get them there without those falling off. We'll have to pick them up when we come back. Um, I wonder if we switch here. We do... Oh, we can't do that while it's loaded. Okay, I was going to try to fold it in. But we're just going to go to the close location like we have been. And then we'll get the rest picked up. Hopefully there'll be enough sunlight to get everything done that we want to get done. Oh boy, this area here. Yeah, we got a lot. We got a big area to turn into a new field. All right, let's loop around this way. We're gonna stay on the outside here. Yeah, yep. Yeah. What a great, great combo there. Um, let's switch to the back here. And I always forget on this one what we want to do to unload. Um, can we rotate them the other way? I can't. Oh, that's silly. Floating bales. They're pretty fun. But we drive over, we should be able to sell these, I believe, that I need to get unloaded. Nah, they're like, they're like connected. But those all fell in. And then if we unload, switch back to the baler, and hit Y. Yeah, those always fall funny. A couple fell in the right spot. We'll grab this one, um, throw it over there. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, and move that out of the way. Okay, I think it's a little silly that we have to use Super strength for 22 pounds. Who can't grab 22 pounds? Come on now. Well, we're at 58,000, and we'll see where we get after buying, selling, after selling the rest of the bales here. Need a little bit of cash, I have a feeling, for some chicken feed. But let's get the baling done, and then we will continue with our day. We have to switch to the back, lower loading platform. Why does this do this? This is so weird. And then operating, okay. Strange mod, it's it's a good one, but the buttons are a little different than some other ones. All right, y'all know when I do straw, I'm not a perfectionist. So that'll do it for us. Let's go ahead and head on over and get this sold now. Do that, so go here. And can we get around this way? Yeah, things have no chill on them. All right, go ahead and unload right there. Switch to here, unload, and see where our money's sitting because I'm thinking about buying something. Uh, let's take this stuff back and we will head to the store. And I think I think we're gonna we're gonna spend a little bit of our cash because it's the mood I'm in. I'm in a spendy mood. All right, we spent six thousand dollars because, from what I understand, we can attach these together. Oh, cruise control, and I hit the wrong pedal. Oh my. Goodness, where are my feet at? There we go. I was hitting my clutch instead of my brake. Okie dokie. I believe these are compatible for that. Let's find out. They are. All right. Um, we probably don't want to drive home that way, though, do we? Uh, let's switch to the front one. We'll scoot it in as far as we can. And can we put it right behind it just for transport? Let's find out. Oh, it looks like we can. That's nice. All right, so we got a new one and an old one and all the things. Very cool. But one thing I wanted to show you guys was like, let's go in here and see if it's still messed up. Look at this. Why? Why? Why are all the bales here? That's that's fun. That's that's it's unique. It's like, did we get our money? We wanted to take a look at the configuration of this tractor as well. So we're gonna jump into our workshop here in a second and see about some changes we can make to it. We're gonna be racing the sun today, aren't we? I wanna change the tire setup. Let's we'll see if we can. Let's we'll see what options. All right, we'll go about right here and make sure I'm selected on the front one. Keep those connected and then we'll sneak into our workshop here and see about customizing this, uh, what we can do here. All right, let's go in here, customize. Oh, the bales. Oh, the bales. All right, wheels, wheel setup. We don't need the row crop. We don't need the row crop. So that's all they have, huh? On this one. Interesting. Wide duels. I think this is what I want to go with. We have a wheel weight in the front. Um, probably need the old flashers too. And the mirrors would be nice. We don't need a front loader. And we're not using GPS in this playthrough. So it's going to cost us nine grand, but definitely want to do that. And while we're here, we're going to go ahead and repair it as well. A little bit of cash for some new tires. We're still sitting at $50,000, but that feels like it's gonna handle much better. Yeah, much better. Yeah, we'll see. 
All right, let's hook back up to this. We'll get the first small field done, and then we need to spread lime on the other field, reconfigure this setup as well, but we'll get them all filled up first with seed and fertilizer before we worry about the rest. Sneak on over here and see about getting this all done. Should go to 50%. Switch to the back, do the same thing. Oh, we're not close enough. We're not close enough. There we go. And then we'll open up the back and get our fertilizer. Close enough. Oh, the gas tank's in the way, huh? Nope, that works. Switch back here. Spend a little more money. And then, and then we'll switch to here. Do that. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Do that and try to back up again. Okay, so now let's change to sorghum. Switch to the back one, change to sorghum. I want to detach it, check this one. I think we'll be okay. Uh, let's do that again. We'll switch here. Yeah, we'll check when we, we first start planting as well. Any bets on how terrible I am at this? <laughs> All right, so already, what did we, did we, oh, we hit the sign, okay. Oh, good, okay, okay, I'm a little, I'm a little perplexed. So let's go with the front one here. We'll get it lowered. We'll sneak on here, zoom out. We don't want to hit the grass right about there. We'll switch, lower it. Oh, this is going to work nice. Speed up our progress. Then we want to hop in here. We'll double check that they are the same crop. It looks like we did, did good. We did good. Okay. No, man. This will be an adjustment. But that's sweet. That is sweet. Tractor's handling it just fine. 10 miles an hour, 11 here. That speeds up our life big time. All right, turning around's not the easiest thing, but that wasn't too bad. Shouldn't miss any. Yeah, that's this is working pretty sweet. Missed a little bit over there because I'm getting used to the turning. Yeah, the turning around, I'm sure, is the most difficult thing. That actually is pretty slick. Besides us missing a spot. Oh, I'm happy with this. Could even triple it, quadruple it, depending on how much the tractor could handle. Not too shabby at all. Yeah, just being a little perfectionist. Every little bit counts. Yeah, let's go ahead and raise the back one. Raise the front one. And I think we could probably do, I think it's alt or control in the buttons to get both the implements to do it at the same time. But we can worry about that next time. We'll try that out. Uh, let's see, what's a safe route here? Probably pulling this in for now. Travel like that to get closer to the field and then we'll have to go get the spreader. And I think right about here. Oh, we missed a little bit there, but that's okay. Uh, yep, that was the right thing. Let's go get the spreader, see what we're doing with, how we're doing with lime capacity. And we'll get this field all prepped. Oh man, yeah. Next month we'll definitely be creating a new larger field and potentially Extending everything that's behind us to the fence. Doofus, you're going backwards, not forward. Yeah, got my wheels configuration all confused there. Orientation of my wheels. All right, we got that. That uh, should be enough. Should be enough. And we can sneak in here and turn it on. Oh, we got way too close there. This thing has such a good width on it. pH was pretty good to start with, but we got to maximize our yield big time all right that field's in good shape now ph wise let's go ahead and get this put away and get hooked back up to the cedars we just saved ourselves so much time six grand not a bad purchase we get even bigger fields i'll be tempted to get a third one all right let's see if this thing wants to play nice today doesn't seem like it so far here we go get it a little bit straightened out here let's just kind of take it back and forth Get it a little bit more there. A little bit of a jackknife. A lot of bit of a jackknife. And it's going to live right there. I cannot back up these things to save my life. All right. Not like that in real life, though. It's so funny. I just think I go too fast in this game. Let's get our lights turned on. It is starting to get dark, but that rainstorm really messed with us. Okay, I think it's... Did that lower both of them? Let's see. Yes, it did. All right, we are ready then. And we have the same capacity in both of them, so we shouldn't run out of one without running out in the other. And it didn't use much seed at all on that other field, so looking good. No rate for the fertilizer, but it is putting some down. 
So I wonder if that's just a precision farming thing where it can't pick up the rate on both of them like it's doing with the seed variable rate there. That's possibly what's going on. But you can tell it is turning it yellow. So we are using some some fertilizer to improve the nitrogen on the field. Let's not hit the tree. We hit the tree. We hit the tree. These are going away. There's going to be a road soon. Um, we are role playing our fences. So we'll just say that's going in our inventory and that's going in our inventory and back in. Yeah, it's just going to take a couple, two or three times using this to get really used to how far to the right we have to get. Gosh, having another one on the, or so how far to the, yeah, how far to the right we have to get so it's not too far to the left. But then having one on the right side for a third, that would be so beastie. But I think we would probably want a bigger tractor or a more powerful tractor at that point. Seems like this is, it's not struggling, but I don't know if I'd want to push it much more. Let's go about right there. That seems to be safe. Oh, this is so cool. I don't know why I've waited so long to try this. I've seen so many people do this. What a time saver. Nothing wrong with a little nighttime farming, especially when you're up against it, knowing you're going to run out of chicken feed. Ah, oh, gosh, it's going to be interesting in the next few months. Next month, we should be OK, but towards the end of the month, next month, we might be running out. But there we go. Little nighttime session. All complete. Sneak that in a little bit. And we're gonna have to find a home for these. But for now, it's late. I wanna get inside. We're just gonna park right here. Oh, have a good night, everybody. Look at the sky. That's the bad part of that mod. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. All right, let's take a look again. I think we do have the oats, so we will be selling all of those. Um, yeah, they are ready to harvest, so we could wait another month uh yeah we'll just see how it goes let's go ahead and jump in the harvester we need to get started with that right away uh let's take a look in this and see seven thousand okay so um if we look uh the big the thing is this is only what 28 bushels which is like a thousand right uh do we just get oh yeah so a thousand we need a lot of that we need a lot a lot of wheat Oh boy. Oh boy. So let's hope we make a lot of money off of our oats here. And if it allows it, we are definitely gonna need to drop straw. I don't remember or know if oats drop straw on this map though, but we will find out in a second. It seems like they do. So yeah, we're gonna need that cash. We're gonna need as much as we can get our hands on. And this is a decent sized field too, so it should help us with profit. I know oats don't yield the best. You can see we're at 340 bushels an acre compared to almost 600 or 550, I think what we're getting on the barley in September. Yeah, this is a good size field, but only at 15% capacity. Yeah, let's hope oats are at a good price this month. Now we talked about expanding the garden, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough money to do that. So we're gonna get this harvest done, see where money's sitting, buy a bunch of chicken feed, unfortunately. What a mistake. I mean, long term, it's definitely gonna help us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell all the oats, we're gonna sell all the strawberries, all the eggs, see where we're sitting financially. Hope we've not ran out of chicken feed by then. And then, gosh, that's $200,000 is going to be so rough to get to at this point. Might not get to that by the end of the year. It might be year three. Because I was wanting another 2,000 chickens as well. But we're going to have to make sure we can... Oh, we're full. We're full. We're driving through. We're driving through our product there. Good thing we don't have crop destruction on. Uh, we're going to... It's going to be a lot of money. So let's go ahead... Oh, we never closed that either. As I was saying, it's going to be a lot of money to get the slaughterhouse. But... We gotta prove that we can handle 2,000 chickens before we add 2,000 more. And we got a lot of grass we could cut to make money, but I don't feel like that's what this series is really about. It's about the chickens. Grass doesn't really help with that, besides financially. All right, so we are gonna use the gravity wagon with the truck because it gives us extra capacity and we don't have to go to the chicken feed or the chicken coop to drop it off. So we'll be able to take advantage of selling with the gravity wagon. A lot less trips will be very helpful today. All right, that's all emptied out. Back to the harvest. Yeah, and this is our first time doing this new expanded southwest field here. Was really doubting that I was going to say that right, but we figured out the direction there. 
And it's gonna take a good amount of time. This is the field that's making me want a larger harvester with more capacity and a bigger header. So hopefully we can start making a decent amount of money. And gosh, I really wish this would have been planted as something else that we can feed the chickens. The truck is full, but we have a ton of capacity in the gravity wagon. It's gonna be exciting to see how much money we make off of this because gosh, this is gonna be a long harvest too. Boy, this is a big field and I, yeah. Oh, let's just, uh, let's find a good, let's see what a worker does here. And we'll do the other side. We'll have to, we'll have to give them some help, but that might be best. Let's take a peek here. We do have to spray some weeds, so we might do that right now while we let that harvest keep going. But let's see how the animals are doing. 6,300. All right. Yeah, let's get some weeds sprayed. Didn't realize how big that field is. It's not that the field's huge, but in comparison to, did we plant the right thing? Yeah, it's sorghum, okay. A comparison to the to the size of the harvester, it is a huge field, is what I was, I was starting to say there. So let's go ahead and loop around this way. And yeah, we'll get this sprayed. I keep going with the harvest, we'll keep you updated. I'm gonna enjoy driving the Oliver though. Oh, look at that wheat getting close to being ready. Hopefully that's a couple months supply there. If not, like a three month supply, that would be ideal. All right, we are just about out of product there. So we'll go ahead and start getting this filled up, but the grain cart's full as well. So we'll have to get that unloaded, let them continue on working, come back and finish spraying that field and start on the next one. And yeah, let's have, head over here. There we go. Should be able to just loop around now. Yeah, barely making a dent in this field. Very, 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 very exciting. So will they pull forward? It will not, so we can go ahead and continue on with this job. All right, nice progress. Just gotta keep it up. Hopefully we're not too broke when we buy that chicken feed. Oh man, it's gonna be a big, big purchase. All right, there we go. All right, I'll see you when we're done. For those of you that are really good at paying attention to details, yeah, we bought fertilizer instead of herbicide. I fixed it though, what a doofus. You buy herbicide at this one. We got one more field to do, so we'll top off here. There we go. And we'll be able to keep a closer eye on the harvest on this field. It's a lot smaller field too. So this should be plenty of herbicide. Yep, they're making great progress without us. Great job there, worker. All right, one more field to spray. I'm starting to think we might be in a good spot when it comes to food after this one selling event, but who knows? I love how it's showing us the fertilizer statistics while we're using herbicide. All done with spraying, and they should just about be turning around and being full again. We're gonna drop this off in the wash bay and head on over to the grain truck there. Oh man, it's a lot of straw to pick up. You might wanna start working on that right now too. Oh, they are full, okay. At least they keep getting full on the correct side. That's nice. So we'll see how's capacity here. Oh, we got plenty of room. We're gonna get this whole harvest in this, it looks like. 305 bushels so far. This load here should put us over 400. And let's, while this is loading, let's take a peek at what we're gonna get per bushel for these oats. And oats are going for about 67 a bushel, huh? So we got one at 6803 times 400, that's gonna give us 27,000. So this is a pretty good harvest so far. That should buy us a decent amount of chicken feed. And speaking of chicken feed, 5,000, okay. The big question is how are we gonna get it home? All right, the harvest is continuing. We have our first full load of bales here. You can see we're making a dent in the straw, but we got the tractor, got the harvester unloading. Everything's going well. Oops, I just unloaded those way too soon. Hit the wrong, or hit the button when I thought I was on the other trailer. And lower, we missed. Oh, we got a mess to pick up. We got a mess to pick up here. All right, all this money's gonna help. No clue how much it was. It was a couple grand though, like 10 grand about. And we got a couple bales out. Yeah, we'll pick those up on the way back. Oh boy. All right, we're back up to 53,000. Things are on the up and up. We're gonna have to reset and then swap to that, I believe. And yep, that's the right one. We'll get these picked up. And that one's a little far, but we'll get it thrown on there and we'll sell them the next time around. Harvester should be back at it. There it is. 
Switch to the front here, and we're gonna keep picking up straw. All right, let's see if we can get just a single price here. Let's slow down a little bit. I think that'll help the tractor, or the trailer seems to not like to stop when we're like this. So I'm gonna cruise in here real slow, and then, yeah, so getting a little shifty there. That should catch them all. So 8,000, awesome. Okay, let's go ahead, get that all resetted like so, and we can get back at it, but it looks like we're gonna have to unload the harvester here pretty quick as well. So multitasking at its best. So we'll get us to be able to flip this field a lot faster today. Slow down there. Harvester thinks he completed his task. We'll get these sold and then we'll get that all sorted out. Should be another nice eight grand for us. I think we'll have enough money for sure. I'm thinking about buying 30,000 liters of wheat, which is gonna be a decent amount of money. All right, let's make sure we got the back selected. We'll open that up. Didn't slow down soon enough. Make sure we're completely over it here. And that should do. Oh, a couple there. Um, reset, there we go. All right. We'll go ahead and pick up the rest, sell it when we can, but we need to get that harvester going again. We might do the rest ourselves. Yeah. All right, it's a good place to stop. This turn back on. Uh, maybe we get this going and then, let's see, yeah, they should do both passes here. Not sure why they were confused, thinking they were done, but we'll do that. And then this, yeah, I thought so. Let's go ahead and just get this topped off, and then we'll head to Silver Run Market, get this sold, and come back and get the rest of the grain. Should be a pretty penny today. All right, let's double check our location here and the food here, 3,600, we're still okay. All right, so our plan timing-wise should be all right. Yeah, Silver Run Market, here we come. All right, so it should be this first grain cart here. Grain, whatever it's called, I don't know what it's called. All right, let's switch to the front. And we'll drop these oats first, scoot up pretty far, switch to the back, go ahead and start unloading, and we'll get one total here at the end. And boy, oh boy, was this good. This is what we needed. Almost there. 43,000 plus, yeah, so about 48,000. Holy cow. All right, we're sitting at 118. We have plenty of budget to buy that chicken feed, but it would have been nice to not have to spend the money on that. All right, this side's nice and finished, so we got this other area over here to take care of. And then a good amount of straw still to pick up. But I don't think our chickens are going to go hungry. I think we'll get them all squared away here and get a good runway for next month when we harvest that wheat. Let's get this done. Kind of thinking of something right now. Let's, the silo's empty, right? We have just our diesel. Let's hop into this build mode. And this is something that we kind of wanted to do. Um, we're going to sell that. And then let's hop over here. Everything's red. We made a mistake. Let's fix it. Silos. Let's grab the red one and let's place it down. So that cost us 15 grand, but ah, uh, that's our fault because I'm giving my 15 grand back. Okay, so this should be just a little bit left that's going to fit in. Oh, I didn't want to put any back there. Oh, well, that's all right. We won't need we won't need the gravity wagon, but we're gonna take it with us because then when we go to the store to buy all the chicken feed, we're gonna we're gonna have to use the Ford forklifts and fill all of the all put all of those bags in the gravity wagon and the grain truck there. I think that'll be the most efficient way to get it back and get it home. And then we'll get it into the chicken coop. And since we have enough money now for all of that, we'll do our selling event of everything else after we secure food for the chickens. And then we'll have to flip this field because we desperately need to keep crops going. I do not want to spend 40 to 50 grand on chicken food again like we're going to do right now. Because if this was all wheat or barley, we would have been just fine. Did not realize that chicken coop was going to be so overpowering like it was. All right, let's uh, loop around here. And that should work right there. We're going to put this close to the wash bay. I'm going to try to get some cleaning done on it. I don't think it'll fit in there. It might fit. Oh, let's sneak it in. Have we washed this already? Maybe we have. Let's go ahead and slow down. Oh, it will. Perfect. Anything bigger, that's about, yeah, it's a little bit larger. We'll be able to sneak in there as well. All right, let's leave that there. Let's head into town with this. Get a couple more thousands of dollars here. 
And then we'll head over to the store, but we need to get that forklift there as well. That'll be fun to drive backwards that far. Alrighty. There is just a little bit in the back. We'll do that. Switch to the front. Start unloading. $26 worth. That's hilarious. And then another eight grand, nine grand really, for that of just about. Let's head over here. And we'll get everything purchased, and then we'll get the Ford over here. But we'll park somewhat close to where they're all going to spawn, which should be about right here. And hop into the store. And we want to go to chicken feed, which is wheat here. Uh, that would be 8,000 liters. 16. 24. Ouch. And 30. So 44,800. And that's going to be a lot of bags to move. We, did we just buy twice as much as we need? We might have. All right. Let's go ahead and see about doing this. So this is going backwards because this is a backwards tractor, right? So now if we go in reverse and technically in reverse. Oh, you can't do cruise control in reverse. All right. Well, Guess we're hitting the brake pedal the whole way. And opposite steering, this should be fun. So it says 18, but it's only getting up to 12 so far. Is there a fifth, minus fifth gear? No. So 15 miles an hour to the store we go. This is, this is ridiculous. So let's see how many of these bags do our forks. Yeah, they do spread. Okay. Let's see how many we can grab at once. It'd be nice if we could do four. Let's get a view about right here. Turn like that. Yep, they need to get a lot wider. Get our that off the screen. Back up a little bit more. Let's see which angle is gonna be the best to see this. Probably that front angle. That's as wide as they go. Is this gonna work for two at a time? Here we go, there's a good approach. A little bit lower and to the right just a hair. Can we get the second bag? Really want that second bag. Oh, we didn't even get this other one. All right, bag it up, bag it up. Oh, now we're stuck. Okay, there we go. Well, we appeared to grab three, kind of. Game's kind of being, oh, and we dropped one. Are these forks gonna get high enough? It did, okay. So, this is gonna take a while. Oh, we keep dropping bags. I was gonna do a time-lapse of this, but it got very comical, very annoying, uh, but we're doing it. And I think, I think we're going to be very close to being full here after a few more bags. And they must be 2,000 liters each. Bushel conversion thing really gets me confused. Let's hop in here and see. Yeah, we're going to be just barely a little bit of the next bag. So we'll go ahead and lower this. We'll pick up those bags there. Just get them ready for the next load. Wish I could just sell them, but uh, we'll lose a lot of money from that. Oh, you'd think I'd be getting better at this by now. It's just a struggle. Come on, let go, let go, there we go. All right, that should be low enough now. Perfect. And then we'll just drive forward, stab that bag, and get these two. Oh, dropped another one, dropped another one. Okay, had enough of that. Let's just, let's get this topped off here. Stop any second now. All right, and then, you know what? Let's do it this way. So we don't have to come back. You get out of the way. We're going to cheat a little bit here. A little cheating, but I've been at the store far long enough today. Get as many bags as we can stuck in here. Oh, I was still holding that one. We could probably throw some in here. Are they gonna sink? They're gonna be all over town by the time we're done. I guarantee it. Yeah, those fell through. Just a couple more bags here. This is kind of funny. All right, there we go. Go. And I think I'm gonna try to see if this can work. I don't know if it does on this map, but let's try to hire a worker. Uh, create job, go to like right there. Can you get there? Calculating is the route in your head. Um, go, go. Let's see if we can put you on the road, if that helps you. These custom maps sometimes, these just things just don't work if they're too far. They can't actually path find for us. Okay. Okay. Just tell me you can't do it, bud. We'll pull this to the side of the road and we'll we'll get it home in a, in a few. But let's hop back in the comical cart here and try to just slowly turn around. Not lose any of these bags. If you haven't guessed already, we are going to drop it in the silo to begin with. Oh, so much weight. There we go. Yeah, we're going to drop it in the silo and then 
one load at a time in the grain truck. We're going to have to take it over to the chicken feed since we can't unload the gravity wagon over there. But I think we're going to get all of these crazy amount of bushels that we overbought home safely. Not super excited about our decision here to waste a little bit of cash, but life goes on. And man, time for a shameless plug. If you haven't already, check out the Socks Way Up page on YouTube or channel on YouTube. We've been posting a couple series right now. And by the time this goes out, I think our third new series on that channel will be started. We finished up a first playthrough of Rockstar Life Simulator. Yeah, that was pretty fun. We did five episodes of that uh, early access. So there's very limited features to the game so far. So we, you know, we pretty much played and showed all the features of that game in five episodes and then currently going through a really fun playthrough of Supermarket Simulator. If you're just a fan of simulation games, uh, you can check out that channel and be playing a lot more simulation games over there. And we're getting ready to start a one of Blockbuster Inc, which you get to make your own movies, which I'm super excited about. One of my favorite games years ago was called The Movies, and this game's very similar to that one uh, so far. So yeah, check out the Socks Way Up channel. Did it take all of that? Oh, did it do it for us? Nice. That seems like it just disappeared under the map. Yeah, I don't know. That seems, should be a lot more bushels than that. We'd lose those bags. It would serve us right, wouldn't it? That's hilarious. All right, that's gonna take a while to finish unloading. Let's hop in here and go ahead and get the first load ready. And then we'll drop the gravity wagon once it's done unloading. Yeah, cause just this one bag. So if you have to hold these ones up pretty high, and we'll just kind of race this gravity wagon emptying. Yeah, I think we lost those. <laughs> oh, it's okay. All right, we'll pull this forward and then we'll just drop this off right there for now. And we already have the feeder out, so I would imagine at this point, because of how long that took to load, that we're pretty stinking close to, to being out of food here. And before I hit that button, I want to kind of see. Okay, we had 1,800 liters left, so we pulled it off. And this should get us back to what, about 10? Seven, right? 80, 80, 85, yeah, yeah. So that was 7,000 per trip. So we'll have to do about four or five trips here. And that should be good to get us through harvesting the wheat next month. At least I hope so. 709 in there and we're moving just about, just under 200 per trip. So yeah, four more trips here. All right, see you in a few. And the way this is going, man, we have a decent amount of cash still. I said I'd see you when I'm done, but I had this thought we might be able to get that harvester a lot sooner than I thought, especially after we sell all these things. And here is the last 113 bushels. Let's loop around, get it dropped off, and then we'll see what our top topic is. We'll see what our total is. It uh, should be a good amount, and even if they don't use all of this, it gives us a good runway for building a good capacity here and gets us a lot closer to being able to expand than I thought we were when we uh, started today. So let's, uh, let's come in here. Yeah, about 32,000 is what my guess is it'll finish at. Yeah, they're almost 33. Lots of chickens. Uh, let's look in here. Three full pallets. That's nice. So that is, where does it show me? 1,400 pieces each. And how much is one piece? Eggs are $4 each. Wow, so that's that's pretty good. Four, 4,800 right there. All right. So yeah, we'll just leave that there for now. We're going to pick up the rest of the straw. Hopefully we get about eight more grand from that. And then we'll lime and plant. Yeah, and I think we'll sell the rest of the stuff first thing in the morning. Now that we have enough food, let's get those things done. All right, we sold one thing of, or one whole trailer full, and this is what we got left after that of the straw. It's getting late already. I think we're gonna have to call it after this. So we'll, we'll do the lime and the planting next episode. That harvest took a lot longer than I thought it would. Getting all that chicken feed took a lot longer. Let's get a couple more bucks to our name here. Yeah, about 400. And that's gonna do it for October. I think we're in a good state to be okay not having this get planted today. It's going to make for a busy November and December, but that's okay. It'll be a good finale to year two. Welcome back to old school. You can see we're still in November because there's something that I wanted to do. I have changed this to restrict reproduction. We have 
2,000 chickens. I don't want any of them sold because we need, we need them when we get to Slaughterhouse. Let's make it November. And we have some rain in the forecast. I think that's the first thing we need to check is when that, that's gonna hit at noon and last about two hours. Oh, it's still sold animals. It's still sold animals. So we're probably still at 2000, but we lost some of the older ones, I'm assuming. We got some 22 months still. Yeah, okay. Maybe we do that. Okay, we'll try that. We'll see what happens when we get to December, but we need our truck because we need to this one. We need to turn it into a flatbed because we got a lot. We have a lot of pallets to load. All right, we're at our workshop here. That's not what I want. I want to edit this thing. Customize like so. There we go. All right, so we're going to head over to the eggs first because I'm more interested in that. But the Ford isn't going to really help us with unloading. So we'll get the Comfort King over here and see if we're able to use that to sneak in to take care of these chicken eggs. Chicken eggs? Yeah, chicken eggs. There we go through the door. And we'll shut that off so there's no exhaust getting to the chickens. They have 16,000 liters of food still. So I think we did good with that. And we get a little more adults running around there. They look a little feisty this morning. So what do we have for just four? I swear there was this many last month already. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and get the Comfort King. Try to get those moved. And then we'll move the strawberries as well. We have $90,000. Is there any chance we can get to 200 today? I don't see how, but we do have a field to harvest over yonder. So we'll have to get to that later. Where's the Comfort King? Here it is. All right, let's head back over there. Get some of these eggs put on the truck. I was hoping for a lot more because I swear we had that many last time. Maybe that's what I stopped, egg, egg production. All right, so this tractor should be able to get in here if we don't hit the door. And the umbrella and the pipe are in the way. All right, well, we tried. We tried, we tried, we tried. We're just gonna load these on up this way and say we, we, we gave it a good shot to not use super strength, but um, I might change this mod. I've been thinking about it in, in between year two and three, because I think I'm gonna take a mini break. I haven't decided yet, uh, but we're going to, I wanna change and customize the mod to where this spawning location is to work for us. Uh, maybe we role play that. We have an employee that's moving them outside. They spawn here or they spawn, you know, back there and they package them up here and then they move them outside instead of to this holding area. Cool concept, but without customizing the exact vehicle that we need to get in here, it's just not working for us. And I don't know why we're flying. There we go. All right, let's strap these bad boys in, get the Comfort King out of the way, jump in the right tractor or vehicle. I'll just leave you right there. And we'll go 5,000 pieces, about $60 a piece, I think. Should be pretty good money. So we'll get all the strawberries loaded on here as well and then head on to the selling location. No shot this is safe, right? That's a lot. That's a lot of bushels and a lot of eggs. Let's, uh, let's see the right place to sell these. If we were good at doing our chores every day, this wouldn't be a problem, right? Sell everything, the first sell everything, and then eggs are the best at one of the sell everything. So let's go ahead and tag this one. And it is the further one. Um, is that the best combo? So that's a little bit better because we want more on the eggs, I think, money-wise than the strawberries. Yeah, we're going to the closer one. All right, we might regret it. We should have done the eggs separate since it's two locations, but we'll see. Should be a pretty little penny here. And then I think if we go ahead and unstrap them, they will just start dropping and get one penny or one one penny, one dollar amount. Yep, they're all taken except for this one. Got it in time, all right. You are going slow, all right. That should be good. Last one is selling. Well, it's a little less than I was hoping for. But 33,000, almost 34,000 plus a $3,500 environmental score reward. Not too shabby. Oh yeah, forgot we left the tractor out here. Now, can I hook up to this water and reload it this way? I know this is super cheesy, but I, I just want to know. Oh, it's empty. Loop around to the well. And I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. You're like hooking up a hose, right? Okay, that worked. Um, There we go. Yeah, that's kind of funny. All right, that's uh, that humored me. All right, we said we we're going to clean this up. Let's go ahead and get that done before we use it today. Sprayed off a little bit. Got to get this next harvest going. So nine o'clock still. 
We might be able to beat this rainstorm if we get on the field as soon as possible here. I really debated getting a bigger harvester for this, but then I remembered we really want that $200,000 and I'm not, I don't think we're gonna get it before the end of year two at this point, which is super, super sad, but we'll get it eventually. We do have some weeds, I believe that we need to spray coming up here. I'll have to take a look at our documents here. Take a look at our documents. We'll look on on the computer and see if uh, I can't. I don't even know what I'm saying, guys. I don't even know what I'm saying. All right, we're getting the harvest underway. It looks like 541 bushels per hectare about what we're getting right now. Yeah, if we changed our settings, that would probably tell us per acre. Let's do that. I think that's how we prefer it. Fahrenheit hectares, acres. There we go. So yeah, 218 bushels per acre. Is this area going to stay red or do we get it in a better state than when it was grass? Oh yeah, it's turning yellow. That's not bad. That's good. Oh, this field's huge. This field is huge. And this is what we needed for our chickens. We might be spending some money today. This is going to take forever. Didn't even get around the headland here and we are full. I think, I think we might have done it. I think we might have gotten rid of the food crisis for our chickens over there. Oh boy, whatever, we'll get there. Yeah. Well, we're on our way back to the store and I'm hoping we get there with fuel. It's blinking, but we're going to sell this. We need to upgrade and we're not going to, unfortunately in year two, we're not going to get the slaughterhouse. We're not going to have enough money for that. But I think pretty quickly after we start year three, we'll be able to progress and get that pretty quick. I think I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of eggs coming in and we're going to take a look at the chickens. We're going to sell a decent amount of the males. They're not going to produce eggs for us. So that'll be our thing. Instead of holding on to them to slaughter them, we'll just get rid of them right away. Hope that we can make capacity for more females that will generate more eggs. And then once they mature enough, we can then send them to that slaughterhouse when we get it and then change or in turn, we should be able to keep enough of the female chickens that are older. Hopefully they don't grow past that age where we're allowed to slaughter them. We'll see. Once we get to the store, we will uh, get a new combine. There is a, another John Deere that's not too expensive that I want to look at and get a bigger header as well. And it has a bigger capacity in the hopper. I think it was 240 bushels that it will hold. So that'll help us get our job done quicker. Less stopping with the combine, less unloading with the combine. I think that will help a lot. We got another field we got to plant today. We got, I believe, some weeds to take care of. We'll take a look at that in a few. But still a lot to do here in November, and it's 10 o'clock already, so I want to speed things up. And now look, we forgot our forward forklift was over here still. You know, it looks like fuel was not an issue here. I was really worried we we're going to run out when we got close to here. But let's go ahead and talk to them about selling this. There we go. Uh, we will repair... We're gonna do all the things to get as much money as possible for this. 37,000, that's pretty good. And sell that. And we're sitting at 160,000. Let's look at the chickens real quick. So we go to the bottom here. We see female, 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 female. A lot of female. Did it sell all the males? Nope, we have 527 roosters. And they're $2 each. So let's go ahead and how do we sell them uh, we have to do that over there that's right okay so yeah we got a good amount of males to sell that'll give us more capacity it'll go through less food as something i probably should have looked at earlier on thank you for the comments i apologize i forget who made that comment i could look but i'm lazy it's production we'll throw it on the screen and the one we want to go with is the seven seventy seven hundred here see 258 bushels i want to go to like the 76 I like the look of this. Let's look at this exhaust. What is changing? Is it back here? I don't see anything. And it's no, is it this thing right here? Uh, nope, must be my imagination. We'll just go with that wheel setup. Let's see, a four wheel drive. Yeah, I think I want the four wheel drive. Let's do that. So that will be 37,000. So about even with selling that harvester. And let's go look at these headers now. And the biggest one that we can get is right here for $16,000. And I like that look better. This looks a little more old school. Let's go with that. And that's when we yeah, figure out if we can get this home. So we're sitting at 106,000 still. It costs us a little bit more money than I was thinking it would. And we just drove right on top of our header there. What a good, what a good farmer we are. And this should work pretty good. Looks kind of, looks good from the front. From the back, it looks a little oversized for this combine, but I think it'll do its job very well. Let's get it home. And let's see, we didn't finish the headland, so we'll go over here. 
and get that rolling. And then we will, gosh, do another round of it. That's a good size field. That's nice. Go ahead and lower this. And we'll go all the way to the edge here and do a full headland with the new size of the header. Feels good. I think this was wise. We still have a decent amount of money. And this could set us up to be able to sell some grain soon if we have this much and a better swath too on this. It's not just, that's probably because the header's bigger. Oh, there it goes. Now it's ploop, ploop, ploop. But get over here, start rolling with it. You can see a slight bit of green in the map there for the yield, which is what we're hoping for. I'm hoping when we get done, all these red spots are, are completely gone in there. That light green color, that greenish yellow that we see. But 192 bushels an acre, already at 17% capacity here. This is awesome. All right, let's bust this out. All right, let's give it a shot, hand it over to a worker here. And this is gonna be more than enough to fill this up. So let's, oh man, will we get here in time? We're probably not gonna get here in time. All right, let's go ahead and stop and unload with us. Oh no, look at the header, look at the length here. That's gonna be problematic. I guess we gotta squeeze right next to the header. And is that unloading? It appears to be. Not the best situation, but let's go ahead and let that roll. We're going to head over to the chicken coop and see about getting rid of our male chickens, our roosters. I believe it's right here. Where's the trigger? Where's the trigger? There it is. Okay. So now when we come over here, we can say, oh, this should be interesting. Male, select only one. Okay. Select 60. So it looks like we could sell 60 at a time and we're getting $30 because of the fee every time. And I don't think there's an animal dealer here. So this is the way we're gonna do this and lose a bunch of money and mail here. And I think that's got them all taken care of. So that leaves us with 1,168 chickens in here. And that should be less food that they go through and more capacity for more females. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. How do we wanna do this for a worker? I think we start right here. Might be best if we just bust this out. All right, well, that's unloading. We'll go ahead and switch over to the John Deere. Oops, seems like it's getting cloudy. And we'll put this in the parking lot for now. And we need to get the lime spreader out and get the Southwest field prep to turn over and get replanted today. And I think we're good weed wide. Weed wise. And we'll just sneak in here, get attached there. And we'll create a course and save it so that we could just turn it on and let them drive to the field moving forward. And then we'll get back to harvesting. And by the time we're done harvesting, we should be able to plant this field with our new setup of our planters. All right, let's go ahead and number of headlands. We'll do one on this and go like that. Let them get started and then we'll go in here and Southwest is the field we're on. So we'll save, activate, call that lime and that should be good, beautiful and we are done go ahead and close that continue on our way here and it looks like we're close to getting that gravity wagon full so we'll have to drop that in the silo or the bins for now the bin and then we can move it over to the chicken coop as needed but we will be doing all that ourselves because i don't want a worker to handle this because we are going at a nice strange angle here that a worker will get confused on. And the rainstorm is here. Let's go ahead and open this up, unload everything. We'll have to adjust what we're doing because of that. If I remember correctly, it should just be for a couple hours here. So we can find a few other th chores to do while we wait. Cruise over, drop off this first load. A 600, we're just gonna drop off the gravity wagon for now and we'll take the grain cart back over to the coop and get it topped off for now. Let's go ahead and slow down here and drop off some wheat. And we will leave the gravity wagon here for now because it'll get in the way at the chicken coop. And it looks like we're almost done laying lime down. Perfect timing. Back on up here. Should be good right there. Yeah, they finished their job here. Yeah, this is going up pretty good. Producing eggs. We got 100 or 289 pieces. All right, let's get back and get that unloaded all the way. Do what we got to do to get here. Header is a little too big, huh? There we go, just next to it there. And taking a double check at the weather, yeah, through the 1300 hour, so we will stay busy until then. Go ahead and drop this off, and then we'll do a couple loads, I think, back and forth of some wheat from the silo and just get it filled up over here. No reason not to. All right, the weather has cooperated. We'll get this harvest all finished. We got all of the wheat moved over to the chicken coop. I think our chicken feed crisis is over. 
And that'll do it for the harvest here in November. Got a good amount in the truck and the gravity wagon there. And this amount, I'm just going to go straight over to the chicken coop and drop this off. After we get that done there, we'll go ahead and raise, shut off the header, and we'll just cruise on over there, drop it off like so, and then we'll put the harvester away, the truck away, and get some... Oh, we got to figure out what we're going to plant in the big field. Something for chickens, though. Let's see if we can scoot over far enough with the header attached. Oh, will this not work? Oh, come on. thought we did this already once with the other harvester. Nope. Oh, there it is. There it was right there. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All right, well, that's not going to completely fit. So we'll just leave it right there. That's uh, unfortunate. And then these 300 bushels, I think, are going to go into the bins for now. And we'll get that dropped off. And let's look at our animals. Yeah, 41,000 liters. That should be good for a little bit. And we'll just keep an eye on that. I think we're done with this truck for now, so we can just leave it here and jump back in the John Deere. Got our pH good on this field. We'll go hook up to the planters, and then we'll take a look at all of our fields and determine what we want to plant. Probably barley. I don't remember what was what we just harvested out of this, though. Does it tell me? Oats. Okay, yeah, so we could do barley. We'll check our fields, though. We might have multiple barley fields already. Really focused on that chicken feed. I think we've gotten through the crisis of the chicken feed. So at this point, it's really just maintain and expand so that we can continue growing the chicken operation. And get this backed up here in a good spot, like so. And a good amount in here, but we might as well get topped off that. Then we switch to the back. We'll scoot forward, probably. That reached, nice. Now we will do the same over here for fertilizer. Close enough there. Can we do it? There we go. Nice. And I think I want to try to sneak in here and just top off on fuel while we're thinking about it. Not very low, but had the tendency of running out lately. All right, let's take a look at the map here. So we just harvested wheat, and we have some wheat growing in the northwest field. We have barley here. So they don't eat canola, though, right? They just eat... I always forget... Chickens just eat, they do sorghum. Do we not have sorghum? Oh, those are sorghum. So no barley. So we will do barley. Let's go ahead and switch this to barley. And then we'll make sure we switch to the other one and switch it to barley. Oh, was this fixed on this mod? Maybe. So they're all set to barley. It just says auto on the seed rate. So we'll go ahead and control V to lower those. And once we get over here, it should start planting. Oh. And we forgot to extend that out all the way like so. And let's go ahead and step back and check. It's just paranoid that we're going to mess up here. Barley, we scoot over. Barley, absolutely beautiful. And we'll see how enjoyable it is to do it, do this large field with this setup. I imagine it's going to be a blast. And that completes planting. Plenty of seed left over. Beautiful. And it's starting to get dark. It's a nice size field. Turning out pretty good. Now, we didn't check for weeds. I don't think we have any weeds to spray today. Just uh, next month. Go ahead and stop right here and take a look at that now. And yeah, we're good for weeds. So that's going to do it for November. Let's let's take a rest. Animal upkeep, animal upkeep. Interesting. Okay, so they didn't sell any. Let's go ahead and go over there. 29,000 left. Okay, that's good. Let's see what we have here. Not too much. Okay. So we'll go in here again. Why do we have a, have ducks? We have ducks. I'm so confused. Oh, that's the animal dealer. We could buy them. Okay, okay, slow down, Chris. All right, so let's go here. We'll select all the new ones that were that were born, that were male, and that'll do it. So we're, oh, nope, nope, there's some there. That's probably gonna be a full 60, I would imagine. And this will just be our daily maintenance of selling our male chickens, male chicks and getting zero dollars for them, but that's all right. That's okay, now we have all female, and let's go look at it this way. We should have a good variety, yeah, good variety of ages now. Five month, 14, yeah, yep, good mixture. All right, so we'll leave those there for now. This we will close. Oops, yeah, because the chicken feed prices is 100% over. And as far as harvesting is concerned, we have nothing to finish the year. So some expanding field-wise is probably in the cards today, but maybe making these roads as well. Now, I bought this little itty-bitty mulcher here because I've seen things, and we're going to test this live because I don't know if it's going to work, but 
I've seen Buck do this, and I want to try. Let's turn it on. And that doesn't really do what I wanted it to do, so we might have to do Terra Farm. Whoops. Got my hands all discombobulated there. And I was hoping we could use these mulchers to turn the grass into dirt, but that doesn't seem to be the case. What happens when we mulch over this planted grass? Well, we got the lime in the way to really see what's happening. And I would imagine it's probably working here. It's gonna make it a grass path. All right, let's take a look here. Still planted as grass. So that's not necessarily gonna work. So let's go ahead and sell that. Let's go ahead and sell it. We did buy it, it was cheap. Maybe it was, let's look in here. Should just look back at that video and see, but we're trying to copycat because it was such a great idea. Forest mulching can be used for tree stumps and bushes. Um, what is the same thing? Um, you know what? I know this isn't old school, but I want to try it out. And I believe, yeah, this is the wrong side there. Go around to the same spot. And, you know, just curious. We might have to put Terra Farm in here, which I'm not opposed to. But, oh, that's going to do it. But what is the state here? Okay. Yeah, I like it. Won't be a bad looking dirt road. Be interesting to see if weeds grow over time on it or not. And we'll lift here, loop on back around. I think it's kind of cool. It's a nice mulched up area, nice dark road for us. A little different. And we'll clean up to right here. And we'll go ahead and lift. And might as well make this little pass here the same way. We'll just go up to about right here. Yeah, I'm really interested to see what happens with this over time. But we're gonna go ahead and do some more roads here. Is this wide enough? Should this go one more? Let's see, let's drive on it. No, that feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. All right, let's head on out to our fields this direction and we'll start making our roads in between those. And I do wanna start a path about right after the doghouse. Go right here, let's back up a little bit. Didn't lower when I wanted it to. Go right there and we'll just create a natural path. We'll have to do multiple passes, but that's okay. And we're gonna go ahead and override the speed a little bit. Go to about eight, go. And it'll clean up these bushes for us along the way. But this one, I think I'll try to do three passes wide. Okay, let's stop right here. We'll hop into this mode and go into fences. Some decoration, fences, demolish. And we're lined up here, so we'll go like that. And, oh, it did work, okay. All right, and now let's hop out and open that up. I don't, is this tractor not gonna fit through these? It is, okay, so we're going to stop right at our property though and lift a little bit and get over as much as we can. We might have to do this kind of ghetto here like that, we'll lift it again, turn the wheels, back it up as much as we can, lower it back in here. I think that'll do. And we'll just even that up both directions and back up as much as we can, like so. We'll go ahead and close those for now. I think this is working out pretty good. Let me know what you think. We're gonna get this done. All right, there's another path established. I don't know what I'm gonna do in the back here yet, but I think this is good over here. And then we will head around the rest of the way. Let's show this in case it gets cut from the time lapse. We just drive through these trees here and a little, little bit of room to go in between them still. Oh, a little spot that we missed. Let's go ahead and grab that. And then we loop back and connect to the other path. And I want to make this a little more natural here for turning like so. And we'll back and grab that. And then that one bush, I think right here, we'll just back up till we clip it. There we go. Then I think we've talked about, well, I don't know where we're going to establish those. So I'm going to go ahead and move these like that, like that for now. But I think I do want to establish this line here pretty even. And so we'll go like this, create a nice path that's going to lead to our next fields and just turn like so and we'll blend right into this road here. Really like the way it's looking. And I think over time we'll determine if we just want to maintain this, if weeds grow on it, or if we want to make it turned into dirt with some RP there. But let's do that. And then we'll back like this as well. Just clean it up just a little bit there and then extend this, widen it. Now this is the type of dynamic ground I, I would like to see in the next game. Or, you know, driving over the same spot multiple times over and over again would eventually lead to the ground t t changing, like the type of ground changing to where grass doesn't grow on it because it's been smashed so many times. And you know what I mean, right? 
Just like naturally like it does on properties. We'll go like that. That's established. And let's go see about these other fields here. What do we have? Yeah, so we want one here as well. I want to go about right there. We'll straighten out a little bit better, like so. And I feel like our honey situation here is kind of in the way, but we will loop past it right here and then turn right. And I thought there was enough room back here, but we might have to damage a little bit of our crops. Because so I do want to connect this road up to the chicken coop as well. We are able to sneak over there pretty well there. And down like so. I'd like to do a little bit with this terrain eventually as well here. And we'll go to the left side there, fighting with the steering wheel. Oh man, do you guys notice the difference in my thinking voice? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it does. I'm sure everyone has noticed. I, I, you know, I'm somewhat questioning if I like this. I think it's different, and I like it because of that. But I'm not sure yet. Would have been nice to use Terra Farm and get the actual texture that I want. And then we don't have to worry about Because I'm, I'm like 99% sure the weeds are going to start growing on this. And let's go ahead and kind of loop this way. Extend the field. Yeah, yep, like that. Or the path. Kind of like our own little personal road network and go as far as we can just sneak here and raise different type of episode but i like these every once in a while now coming back this way we'll go ahead and lower it and widen it just a hair here but then we're going to loop around the outside of southwest field as well i think that'll do it for the roads for now it's pretty cool let's uh let's hop into the sky and look at this yeah some nice paths i'll you know, I'm going to think about if I want to leave it this darker color, if we're going to have it dry out over a couple nights of just sitting. And yeah, we can see how we're going to be finishing some pathing out here, probably in front of these fields as well. And then we'll extend a new field out here, probably right in here to our property line. Very cool. I shut that off. And again, I know it's not an old school implement, but we're going to live with it and try out our road here. This is nice. Yeah, definitely need to add to the front of those fields, though. Just a little cross through or cut through here. Yeah, I dig it. All right, we are going to pick the straw up and just let the bales sit on the ground. But first, I want to get this cleaned because uh, we said we we're going to do that a while ago and it's been sitting here. So let's clean the Oliver real quick. It's going to get dirty today, but let's give it a good start. That's good. And I don't remember if we've gotten our weed spraying field established here yet. So we'll do that now. Clear that. I think I saw. Let's go in here. Some lime weed spraying. We do have it. So let's load the course. We are in southwest, right? And let them go. Perfect. Okay, so now we can focus on picking up bales while they work on spraying. And I figured we'll just completely bail this and then we can pick up as much as we can with the auto trailer. It's kind of funny watching them fly. Look at that. Floop. And then we can do it in just trips instead of having to stop and sell, stop and sell like we've been doing. But we might be to the point where we've outgrown this baler very soon, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And I definitely think with this new harvester, we're definitely going to need a wider baler. Otherwise, we're going to have to rake this every time, and ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, missing a lot, but you're getting a ton of bales. Yeah, and I think that'll do for the baling portion of today. Let's go ahead and stop here. Everything that's on the ground's a little bit of money, but we'll be okay. And use this new road here to go get the trailer. This one could get a little bit wider. Be interesting to see what happens when we plant, if it thinks this is an actual field already. It looks like it did, so we'll have to avoid it. But let's go ahead and put the baler away for now. Yeah, why did it go that way? That's so funny. Turn the wheel this way, get it straight like that, then we'll straighten out and it'll shoot back the other way, watch. No, nope, it's gonna make a liar out of me. All right, we're getting better. All right, let's go get the, the trailer. I'm kind of interested to see how many trips this is gonna take. What happened here? Oh. Okay, let's prioritize that first. Can't believe we ran out of water. I thought we topped this off pretty good the other day, but maybe we didn't. All right, it's back alive, but we'll do about four or five loads here just to keep it going. That's unfortunate. All right, that should be enough trips for now. Let's just drop this off here. And oh, that was almost too far. And now let's take a look at the capacity in here. 
5,000 ton or 5,000 gallons. I think that'll be good for a little bit. All right, so let's get this hooked up and make multiple trips to sell some straw. And I do think this was a wise decision to bail all of it first instead of doing different trips. Feels much better. I'm not gonna lie. I love these dark roads. And let's start this journey. I'm not in the right setting, apparently. We need that position, that. Uh, uh, why is this not auto-picking these up? Um, there it goes, okay. Just weren't close enough to those first few, I guess. We gotta have to run them, we have to be super close. Just like run them over. Okay, we'll just drive right on top of them, apparently. That's interesting. Okay, all right, there's a full load. We'll go ahead and drop that off, come back. I think we're gonna have like three or four loads. Yeah, that's definitely a missing path there that we just took. Get back on this, and this is nice because this takes us right back to the main road. I like it. I like road layouts. Gotta clean that up a little bit. They're still spraying. Are they finishing right now? Gotta be close, right? Yeah, there it goes. Finished work. Oh yeah, we gotta clean that one up. We messed that one up pretty bad there. All right, we'll prep this for unloading. Hopefully it's about $8,000 per trip again. Get a good 24 grand out of the bales would be pretty sweet. All right, let's drop that. Yeah, yep, about eight grand. Beautiful. And should be that. All right, we got it set up right. We'll get the rest of these going. I'm hoping we get three loads. That would be sweet. And this field might get extended, so that's why I didn't do a road here. Yeah, lots of decisions to make. And load number two, just about 9,000 on that load. Well, lost track of where we're at. I think we go right here. Be good to pick these back up. Make sure it's set up correctly. And it is, all right. Yeah, we should get at least one more full load, I'm guessing here. Definitely outgrowing this baler setup. And we're full again. Try not to mess up our paths too much here. A lot left over. This is going well. And another 8,500, 8,800. Might get back to 100,000 after picking up the rest of these. A puppy really likes this field. Just hanging out here, knows we're working out here. And we'll get the last little group here. And just about another 50%. So we'll definitely get above that 100,000 mark. Beautiful. And the last little bit sold there for another four grand. We're at 102,000. Wow, 98,000 away from our goal. Hopefully that'll happen in the middle of next year at the minimum. We might look around at stuff we could get rid of financially. I don't know. Don't know what to do about that. I don't think we need all the tractors we have, but they're not worth much money either. All right, we're going to probably extend this next field or this field we just harvested next and get it all flipped and planted today. So that's what's on task next. And I think it's time to extend this field a little bit here. We're gonna be replanting it and might as well take this opportunity to make it a little bit bigger since we know where our property line ends. We're gonna take advantage of it, but I wanna go out here and start this somewhat intelligently so we don't get too close to this fence. So we'll go right here, back up. Well, let's look back here how we did. Let's make sure we're still even. And I think that's about as far, that's about as close to the fence as I wanna get. We'll go ahead and enable field creation. Drive this forward like this, and we are gonna go pretty much to the fence line. Add a good amount to this field. You can see, we're getting serious, making a lot more money. Year three, this farm's gonna be flourishing. Let's get this done, and a lot more. Okay, I was gonna do a super long time lapse, but we have our answer. This is just a cultivated state, and we could have done that and seen it right here. It's just a cultivated state. So after this super long time lapse, we are gonna turn that into regular dirt, but I still think it is an awesome way to role play making fields. Oh, we don't need to keep going with that. Let's turn around, enjoy the time lapse. It's an awesome way to make roads, not fields. Fields are awesome too. All right, with that plowing done, and the paths, look at these paths, they're drying up real nice. I was a little worried about that, but looking great. All right, we're gonna go over in this area and drop off this tractor for now. A little foreshadowing there. Let's go get the Comfort King. And I believe the Comfort King is able to pull the lime machine. Oh, let's raise the forks. The lime spreader. Oh, this path is perfect. It'll be interesting to see if grass grows back on this over time. Wink, wink. Well, can it pull it? I don't think it can. All right, we'll have to do these things in phases. We'll do the liming later on. So let's find a good place to start. This is another field that I want to get going here. There's our road thingy. Go ahead and lower it. And we will drive forward here. This is gonna be, maybe surprisingly, maybe not, pretty good sized field. Let's go ahead and get the outline done and I will show you. And there's the outline. Let's take a look in the sky. 
This is a strange looking field. I will admit that myself. It's gonna come around this way, out there, all the way loop back. We eventually might take all those trees down and extend the field, but welcome to the west field. Let's go ahead and hop in here now and see if we can draw this thing. The game wants to finish saving for us. Now, if we remember, I think it was this field here, or this view here. Let's start right there, uh, like that. And then that might be a little too close to the trees. If we go on, yeah, that might be. So we might have to knock those trees out. And then, oh boy, shouldn't have, shouldn't have left the tractor there. Save the field and click on this, rename field. We're gonna call this West. Uh, let's see if we can see anything we can really just fix in here. Can we click on this? How does this work? How does this work? Basically grab that, move it like that. Oh, wow. What a good tool. Right, I'll spend a little bit of time cleaning this up and we'll test it out. Now, will it work? Do two headlands and generate course in West. Shouldn't take that long. Did we break the game? Boy, oh boy, have I broke the game this way before and I'll be very sad if it happened again. No, it didn't. Okay, so that did not work. Okay, I've had this work before in the past. I don't know how I did it. I have videos showing that we did it, but we'll go ahead. We'll plow this up. I bet it's because I plowed the outline. That's why it's not working. But we have the field outlined already for once we can do the next phase. So that's good. Maybe this time I've just gone crazy.
Well, that might be the longest recording session that I've made, but the least amount of words. I bit off more than I could chew, I think. Well, we chewed it, we swallowed it, we're fine. But I have a feeling future me is going to be a little frustrated with present me when it comes time to harvest both of these fields with the equipment we have. But I think we're really setting ourselves up for an awesome year three. This is going to conclude year two. Really focus on expanding the fields and getting a lot of chickens in our possession. Year three, it's going to be focused a little bit on what I'm standing next to right now. Our house. Well, the slaughterhouse and our house. It'll be the year of the houses. I'm Socks Way Up. Thanks for hanging out on this season of Old School. I'll catch you on the next one.